You go there and they just feed you and you're like, what the hell? Is so you much. gain weight in Africa. You're like, yeah. all those commercials are wrong. <laughs> yes. There's nobody Dude, starving here. I was uh, opening by the second, by the last few shows with that. I'm like, I'm the only guy that got fat in Africa. <laughs> yeah. and, and I bought the biggest pants in I Africa. You, I remember you bought remember pants that? when yeah. we were there. Yeah. The guy at the department store, he's like, there are no mm. bigger pants. <laughs> This is, I'm sorry, <laughs> as big as it gets here. You're the fattest man in You're Africa. The fattest man in Africa. <laughs> well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. You know what, Gene? I think it is time for you to turn your cool idea into a website. How long have you been saying, I want to build a website uh, for the upcoming wedding we're going to have next year? Or maybe sure. to display your children's photos? Maybe to uh, promote your online business. Or maybe you, you want to display your, publish your writing or your photographs or your rocks, you know, so whatever you want to put Anything out there. you want. Yeah. Squarespace can make your dreams come true. They have beautiful templates created by world-class designers. And I know because I have built four websites myself using Squarespace, I just love their templates. They're clean. They're intuitive. Uh, there's e-commerce functionality that lets you sell anything online. You can customize the look and feel. You can, it's optimized for mobile right out of the box. And um, yeah, you have analytics to help you grow in real time. Built-in search engine optimization. There's no plugins to you know, patch or upgrade. So here's what you're going to do. Try it out. Go to squarespace.com slash mom for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code mom to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Pow. Welcome to another <laughs> episode of your mom's house. We're very excited. We hope that you are enjoying your day. It might be early if you started Right up when this episode drops, there's a new drop schedule. Everything comes out at 6 a.m. Pacific. So it's fucking morning. <laughs> it's uh, well, we fucking morning. We expect you to set your alarm and wake up at 6 a.m. That's right. To listen to it right when it drops. Fresh. 6 a.m. Specific. Specific and, time. Um, yeah, 9 a.m. on the East Coast. Mm. Um, it should be a very celebratory mood because even though it hasn't happened yet for us here, we know that the live show <laughs> happened over on the weekend. What and a still fun a show. few days. If you want to watch at ymhvirtual.com, you can keep on watching till uh, almost midnight on Friday. So thank you for everybody to support. We know it was uh, it was greatly supported. So hopefully it came through in a big, big way. Well, and what I loved about this, uh, the number two show mm -hmm. is that we we wanted to expand it. Like, I think we got a little excited about the uncensored yeah. element in the first one. So we were like, let's just watch people taking shit on nuggets. Yeah. Shit on nuggets. Yep. And that's fun. That's all good. But in the second show, we really expanded our definition of what it meant to be live. Yes. Uh, and Original content. And uh, we built, I like that we, um, made me anxious with how much we had going on and like, you know, made it like, that's an exciting thing where we're like, right. we're going to cut from this guest to this prepackaged thing. We shot a bunch of original content, if you saw it, which was, I don't know, that was a thrill. You know, we wrote it, shot it, edited yep. it. We had, we had to hire, you know, extra editors, extra producers, um, a whole team of people, nine or 10 actors. It was a whole ordeal. Well, and actors that would be willing to do the sketches we wanted them to. Which was, a, again, an <laughs> issue. It's a recurring <laughs> issue on YMH Originals that people who are starving to perform look at our stuff and go, I'm good. I don't want to do that. Right. In a pandemic <laughs> where there's We're nothing being We're offering money made. and they're like, no, 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 no. I don't, need, I don't need money that bad. Yeah. But we did it anyways, you know. It's just like the gays. They just, you do what you want. <laughs> as long as you're green and you're an adult, you could do it. And you got to massage your little hole. Massage your little hole. It's so. not massage. Right, mm. he says massage. Yeah, but do you know what th you get pinned for saying wrong? Which one? Uh, All of it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, not I-N-G, but I-N-K. I, I know, and I... And I didn't... Somebody pointed out to me, and I was like, what? And then I started listening, I was like, you are doing that. <laughs> You're like, everything. No. Everything. Because I think it's a... Hung it's like... I grew up speaking Hungarian before I spoke English. I think that messed me up a little bit. Wow. Because that was... I Once know. I heard it, I can't get it out of my head. Now. I know, me neither. I, I was um, watching the video we did, the sketch, and I do it in the sketch. I'm like, oh, geez, such yeah. a foreigner. That, is that a foreigner thing? Yeah, it's, it is because I spoke Hungarian first. I think my, you know, it's when you, you're learning language. Yeah. So I had to learn English second. 
Wow. And I you think are completely <laughs> retarded. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? I, I so rude. I know. What about you and Badly? Boy, we got an ear Oof. beating on that one. And I got to tell you something. It made me feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. That everybody gave me a hard time about it. I was like, man, I feel real. I feel bad about this. Boy, let me tell you, I went through the YMH emails. And I would gladly change the way that I speak. And they were relentless. It was yeah. the grammar police came out in full oh, yeah. force to let you know that you're completely r worded. Well, that's you know they have a point, and also I think it's even funnier because we make a living speaking on I multiple know. platforms, I and know. I kind of feel like saying <laughs> I'm not retarded, but I speak <laughs> I a certain way, you know. Yeah. Well, and here's the deal, man, is that. You, you just can't you're on for so long we do so many hours of content mm -hmm. i can't always be right yeah you know and also you just you know it's stream of consciousness what we're doing here yeah so it's true it's i try true. unprompted unprompted <laughs> well let's get into the show the, we have great clips great talking we're so stuff excited for today to share with you and uh we have a great 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 guest so let's do it you ready to get the I'm show ready, going jeans. here we go Rally attendees say they shouldn't ever wear masks if they have any medical issues or mental health concerns or if they feel they simply can't breathe. When George Floyd was saying, I can't breathe, and then he died, and now we're wearing a mask, and we say, I can't breathe, but we're being forced to wear it anyway. <laughs> Who is Randy? What? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Anyways. Welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> With Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. By the way, do you think it's registered to her yet? Like, what a cool comparison that is. <laughs> it's <laughs> she's like, I mean, this guy was murdered. Yeah. And she's like, and I got to wear this fucking thing. I mean, same, same. <laughs> well, it's just like the gays. Same Z's. Yeah. <laughs> he was saying he can't breathe because there's these four guys on his back. And here I am with this cloth. I feel the same way. <laughs> And she, you, the way that she's saying it too, she, she's so confident in well, it. Well, you, I want to play it. I, she's I like saying this it. like I say badly, okay? <laughs> <laughs> like she's like, I know I'm right. <laughs> she's so earnest. That's like, crazy. The attendees say they shouldn't ever wear masks if they have any medical uh -huh. issues or mental health concerns, or if they feel they simply can't breathe. When George Floyd was saying, I can't breathe, and then he died, and now and we're wearing a died. mask, mm -hmm. and we say, I can't breathe. But we're being forced to wear it anyway. Anasa, waka, Doesn't he? Sa doesn't she sound? Other doesn't Shauna sound a little special? Well, Shauna sounds like she's not really into reading, but no. Yeah, her logic is. Uh, you know. I can't So wear the paper one. It's not what the paper mask. Yeah, you just wear the clutch. Maybe just, just stop talking? making analogies. That's also something I would do. She doesn't even know what that word yeah, means, babe. I know she's a woman. Stupid women. Fucking women. And our pussies fucking stink. <laughs> yeah. They smell like fish. <laughs> Unprompted. Idiot. Stupid bitch. Y'all fucking idiot. Where is she located in the world? Is this Florida? Uh, St. George. I don't know where that is. I don't know where that is. St. George. Could that be a... Uh... You know what mm. I love about Washington? you know what I love about local news is that mm. there's no standard. Like they know that she's being Utah. R worded. Utah, okay. yeah. Like they know that this Dude, is so ridiculous. Almost every local news segment <laughs> seems like an SNL <laughs> right, parody. Right. Like you're like, is this actual news? Someone right. This up? Like someone in the room in the newsroom was like, this is gonna be awesome. Watch this one. Yeah. It's gonna go viral. All the best stuff comes is. from local news. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, I don't watch local news to inform myself. I watch it to see uh, how fucking dumb it's going to get. Yeah. You know? America. This is unreal. It, this is a debate. Oh. That wearing a mask is, a, is an issue for people. Yeah. Unfucking real. By the way, I wanted to point out before I forget if I have it here. Um, yeah, this hen dog mix, you know, it ended episode, I think, five, six, eight. 
I mean, that is up the the uh, yes. auto tune one. Yeah. Oh my God. Don't you've been be stingy. you've been listening to this in the house <laughs> for, for the last week now. Yeah. I don't I don't turn it off. <sighs> to the point where I had to tell him we were on a hotel getaway for the first night in months <laughs> away from our children. <laughs> And all I hear I is listen to kissing it on the car you, on the way over. <laughs> holding you. I'm like, babe. Yeah. Making you feel. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Kissing you and holding you and caressing you and playing with your titties. <laughs> put your balls in my mouth. Put, put, put your balls in my mouth. <laughs> Make you just, just come and come and come and come and come and come and fill my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I'll swallow if I want to. B -b -b yeah, I'll swallow if I want to. Put a big hickey on your inner thigh. Oh, come on. Man. Make it nice and red. Uh, well, it's no. normal size. It's <laughs> not that, that big. That's the part you like the best. It's not that, that big. That, that big. That, that big. The one thing that I'm going to tell you <laughs> I is love this. the first time it's going to be quick with me because it's been a long time. Cause it's been a long time, long time. Okay, you come, you come, you come. Let me see how much you come. Let me see okay, how much you come. Okay, thank you. I got it, I now. it right now. Everyone wants to hear it. I, I, need, I need it. I need it right now, right now. Okay. Can you see this? <laughs> Give it to me now. Give it to me now. I need it. I need it. I need it. Give it to me. Give it to me. Here we go. Come on, Mark. Don't be stingy. Come on, Mark. Don't be stingy. I'm telling you. Don't be stingy. It's a banger, Dad. Don't be stingy. Suck uh, it right. Just suck it right, Mark. Okay. But here's the deal, man, is that I've, upon listening to this over and over and over again after you were listening to it, I've had a few thoughts if you might, if we might go further. Well, can we this. also just say sure. one thing before your thought? Because I, I know yeah. where this is leading to. You have like questions and I observations. Have more questions. But also, you're not admitting to the fact that you are now constantly calling me Mark and, and, <laughs> and actually telling me Leo's speech. And I, it's so bizarre. She's like, oh, Mark, I just want to spend so much time with you and just make you feel like you're the only one kiss you and <laughs> leaves me messages <laughs> like that and like <laughs> i mean texts me that stuff i did so it started For our romantic getaway you're like i'm just gonna suck you dry mark I was like, okay I did. I did so we were i was meeting you i was in the studio i was gonna meet you at the hotel and then you were on speakerphone coming back from your tennis lesson yep. and i didn't know that and I was like, Mark, you're just the only guy in town. I can't wait to massage your little hole and just yeah. And I was kiss walking you around and love you. And he's like, babe, I was getting out of the car. <laughs> so I was like, hold on, I got to take it off Bluetooth. And then I like the you know the guy's like, hey, welcome. And I was like, hi. And then she was like, I'll make you come. And so, <laughs> by the way, but one you of the liked things, it. I did. I was laughing yeah, a lot. He, he has it. ruined just the word okay for me. <laughs> Mark or Leo, because he goes, okay. okay, you come. So yeah. every time someone goes, okay, I just go like, <laughs> okay, know. what? Okay, you come. I know. Yeah. I know. So, but again, it, this has raised so many questions in my mind. Okay, first of all, he's like, I'm just going to suck on your tits. And I'm thinking, <laughs> <laughs> which got me to thinking, yeah. like, do men suck on other men's tits, really? I think it has to happen. And, and here's why. Of course, yeah. Yeah, here's, I know that, you know, nipples are a bit, you know, sure. real big for some people. Like, sure. I don't mean just like, I mean, like, they're really into it. One of my friends, he's like, <laughs> he and his girl, he's like, every time that they hook up, she on his nipples, always playing with it so it makes sense i mean that's just what it does but i did i would i wouldn't think that men, i didn't think it'd be like i'm gonna suck on your tits tonight yeah, right yeah. like it's an interesting thing to yeah. throw out there as what's on the menu for later like yeah. i'm gonna just suck on your tits and then he goes i'm gonna make you feel like you're the only man in my life yeah that one's real we've and we would talk about that a lot let's be honest yeah uh leo i think mark is the only man he's the only guy life. we all saw the video yeah like there's not a lot of people hitting not you. Not a lot of inventory. Like, yeah. He's like, I'll do you the favor <laughs> yeah, of making yeah. you feel like you're the only one. Like, right. That is the only one. That is. The, I don't think Leo's getting that much play besides Mark, no. which really bothered me. And then also, what's really enticing about Leo's offer is he's like, it's normal sized. And yeah. it's going to be quick. So like, yeah. I have a small well, it's cock. It's normal sized. <laughs> like, yeah. what? 
Yeah. It sounds really undesirable. Like I have a I have a small dick and well, it's going to no, go fast. He doesn't say I have a small dick. He says it's normal, normal size, size. And what you discover <laughs> is that he's lying. <laughs> yeah. It's not normal <laughs> size. It's definitely below normal it's size. It's definitely below Which, average. by the way, I don't want to dick shame him. Okay. Yeah. But no, it's not we normal are, size. We are welcoming yeah. of all dick yeah. sizes and shapes at your yeah. mom's but house. But you know what? Here's the thing. <laughs> I think you're actually probably, he's probably doing the right thing, which is like, that's a confident move to be like, you know, he's not like, well, it's going to be a little less than you're used to. Oh, and then later he goes, I had, I once had the oriental warts and then they had to give me um, yeah. a circumcision and it made it look like this. Oh, right. So remember he explains to Mark as they're masturbating together yeah, he's that like, he's had warts and that his grandma would be like, dicks come in all <laughs> sizes. <laughs> remember that part? Yeah. Yeah. Come so on, weird. show me that you like me. Oh, yeah. Goodness. And then he says massage, which I don't like how he says that word because oh, I don't yeah. think. Look, I'm not the expert massage on. Yeah, I'm massage. not. Massage. Say it again. Massage your. Massage. Yeah. So, massage your little hole. Okay, grammar police out there. You guys nail it's Tom and massage. I. It's, it's not massage. It's not massage. Right? Right? Massage your. Massage. Massage your. Yeah. It's not massage. Massage your little hole. Yeah. Massage. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, <laughs> he definitely sounds like he's gonna die when he has his orgasm. <laughs> that sounds like a heart attack, you know. Mm -hmm. Loving you, kissing you, holding you. Loving you and kissing you, Tom. I'm you. just. It sounds gonna... like his next expression is, you know. Oh, it just freaked out on me. Oh, it does this. I just can't wait to hold you, Tom, and love yeah. you. I'm having chest pain. <laughs> That's what it sounds like <laughs> happening, doesn't it? Yeah, totally. You know? Ugh. It's okay. Okay, Mark, you come. Uh, so there's that. And then, so we had our mommy. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh. I'm having chest pain. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Oh, my God. That's totally. Uh, uh. Suck souffle. <laughs> uh, also, he doesn't say anything. He doesn't say anything. We've been doing that around the house. Yeah. But um, so we had a lovely hotel night away from our children for the first time in, I mean, since before the choir happened, yep. it was It was lovely. a socially distanced hotel and they clean everything yeah, yeah, and they yeah. tell you when you get there to stand back. Don't worry. Right? Yeah, it's all good. How S many people have to die for <laughs> you to have a night out? <laughs> Shut up. I know. Tom. Fucking baby. I know. I hate everybody. So I don't hate everybody. I just hate those SJWs online. I put up, okay, look at my, at the Christina P on the gram. I put up a non-binary emoji <laughs> and I got a little heat for it from the SJWs out there. Not our fans because our fans get that it's there awesome. It is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> you know, it's not okay. I'll tell you why it's not okay. It's not okay. There are certain people that should never, you should never joke about. Okay, you never <laughs> joke about certain because you may or may not possibly hurt their feelings. It's not only that they're just <laughs> off limits. You can laugh about other things. You can joke about other things. But there's 16 or 18 categories or I just I never want to hear a joke about it. All right. Right. And even if something is new and, and interesting and maybe absurd <laughs> on, on first glance, you're not. Yeah. Supposed yeah. To laugh like at I it. laughed when I first saw this, but then I corrected myself and I go, don't <laughs> laugh at that. <laughs> It's not funny that a half <laughs> unidentifiable man woman thing is a, it is a, a caricature of you. I don't like it's it's funny <laughs> instinctively. But when I think about it and I think about what what it could mean to somebody else, then I realize not to laugh. Good, Tom. That's, that's really the Good win for you. You know, that is the win yeah. to correct yourself and correct chastise you, yourself. Correct yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Don't go with your natural. Instinct. My favorite thing was. Uh, <laughs> so in the NFL right now, they're airing their. <laughs> They're pumping in fake. There's, the stadiums are empty. So they're yeah. Playing, so they're pumping <laughs> fake crowd noise into the stadium and onto TV. Oh, so you're watching boy. the game and you hear like. like are you, you serious? But then it's you so look weird. up, there's no one there. And I wrote like, you know, <laughs> even though I made fun of wrestling and I was completely correct in doing so. Yeah. This fake crowd noise thing is so gay. <laughs> like <laughs> it's the gayest thing is I've it, ever seen. But hold on. Is it gay and retarded or just gay? Well, I just said that it was gay. <laughs> and I think that. Um, my favorite thing was going into that, um, in, into the responses to that. Yeah. And um, <laughs> oh, I this got, is what you were battling. Last no, no, night. that was different. That was a different, that was different battle. Yeah, yeah, that was different. But my, this was my my favorite 
um, response to saying <laughs> that, that that crowd noise thing was so gay <laughs> oh, yeah? was a... Uh, uh, uh -oh. Oh no no! <laughs> it, it takes me a second because there was. Don't uh, make fun of it, Mark. Somebody's feelings could potentially get hurt. It's not funny. It was. It really made me. You're laugh. not allowed to have a natural reaction to the absurd anymore. It's, it was. It's just like. It's so weird. I know you just can't. <laughs> Why can't say I have a reaction? About anything. Or you can't just feel a normal like. Oh, that's funny. A lady with a beard. I, you don't see that every day. It's not like I hate everybody. That does. it's so silly. I, I hate everything. I wrote. Uh, oh, it's just like the gays, Tom. It's just like it. <laughs> I wrote. Um, God, it really made me fucking. Oh yeah, gay guy here. Yeah, it's pretty gay. <laughs> like the, the guy responded to that. Chiming in on yeah. it, huh? And that that really made me like feel good. <laughs> you felt validated. You know that I was like, I like this guy I was like, gay guy here. It is gay. <laughs> <laughs> and then another guy wrote, wrote to me. He goes, also gay and also agree. <laughs> You know, you know what that's called? People with a sense of humor yeah. that are still around. Right. Laughing right. about things that, you know, I think you it's, can laugh at. It sounds like anybody born after Gen Y. Gen y? This, one of these guys. Is that, is that Generation Y right yeah. now who's the unfunnest? <laughs> yeah, but one of these guys is looked he looked pretty young. I mean, I, th I think oh, you, maybe you can, is you can I categorize. Know. I mean, I Gen think Z. I know what you're saying. Gen Z, yeah. That like the younger people are. But I still think that. People who don't take themselves no, too right. seriously I, are in every generation. That's you know? true. That there's lamos in every. And yeah. this is why I'm for the Confederate statues need to stay. Right? <laughs> I I have a GoFundMe set up, and it's basically <laughs> to fight this shit, man. We got it. We're gonna That's forget right. our history. <laughs> are we gonna even know where we came from? That's right, Tom. These colors do not run. Yeah, they don't. I love. I tell you, it was it's so. True. You got I, that beautiful mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it was startling to me though the first time I saw Confederate flags. I mean, in like Nashville, mm -hmm. around the club, like you go like a block or two from the club there. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my god, this is real. Like I, I only I thought know. the Duke boys had the Confederate flag you know, on the You know the what card I had a, know was real? like a flash memory of right now? What? So I went to a really small <laughs> college in a really small town. Yeah. Hickory, North Carolina. Yeah. Which is not like don't think it's like po dunk all hillbillies around it had everything right but like it had like people that were sophisticated it did have country people it's a nice small town we would go uh saturdays were usually like a party night obviously in a small college town and then sunday there was this guy because we would repeat repeatedly see it you'd go out and go to bojangles or something Love to get, you know something to eat there was a dude who would drive in this small town in a pickup truck with like one of those 20 foot confederate flags <laughs> and he would just drive through town. <laughs> so you're you would just be like out there he is yeah and you're like there's the guy <laughs> there's the guy and he would just drive around <laughs> just reminding you, everybody yeah and you'd be like it's sunday you'd forget and then you'd be like oh hey there's that guy yeah I know and you're, you're like what is he doing but there's, but there's and he's just driving he's by just reminding yeah, you about the confederacy you. he's like oh uh i'm pretty racist <laughs> you're, just, you're like oh yeah 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 no i forgot about you all week but now it's Sunday. Well, what's interesting, too, is the people who defend the Confederate flag claim that it's not racist, yeah. that it's just part of my history. And here's the here's like, the compelling that... argument against that, though. <laughs> here's the here, here really is. It's pretty it's it's pretty concise. Yeah. Um, because you can be like it's it signifies Southern pride, which is you know you can say that and you're like okay. Because of during but, a time in the Civil War, the, that was the but, flag of the South. Okay. Right, but right, right, but here's here's why that argument doesn't hold up. The Civil War is only fought for one reason only <laughs> to keep slaves <laughs> like that's what the Confederacy right. wanted to do. We want to keep slaves. That's what they're fighting over. So if you go like, yeah, but it's about pride. It's about pride in keeping slaves. <laughs> <laughs> which that's to be fight. But, but hold on, Tom. Now, hold yeah. on. Which is which to be fair is a really cheap it's a great economic policy. Yes, if it you is a good be like, economic I am policy. trying like. If I could run this operation with all slaves, I'm, I mean, I'm for it. It would be it. great. I would bring them on. I would love nothing more than to beat Nadav into Me too. a fucking bloody pulp, and set him on fire, crack his spine, put him in a chair and be like, switch the boards and Google. But there's all these fucking stupid rules in California, which is why we're getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, Tom. And I'm not limiting it to black slaves. Let's be clear. That's true. 
I don't want you guys, this is not racially motivated. I know. This is cheap labor. Yeah. Free labor yeah. motivated, which I get it. Black now slaves, I get Jew it. Jew slaves. Yes. Uh, white uh, slaves. White slaves. Spick slaves. Arab slaves. Yes. Yeah. All the rainbow. Yeah. Gay slaves. <laughs> Gay non-binary slaves. Gay slaves, slaves. That suck your cock as soon as you walk <laughs> in the room. <laughs> Come dogs all tied up, little yes. bitch, bitch Wh- ass slaves. Women slaves. I'm not opposed to My that. My favorite. By the way, I got to say something. I sure. get that. I get that. Keeping a woman tied up in a shed. I do too. And you just fucking dump inside of her. <laughs> yeah. And then but you go, here's a fucking here's saucer a s- of milk. Sandwich. Yeah. yeah. Here's the thing, though, is that what if you impregnate her? Kill the baby. You punch her in the stomach and you kill the baby. But it's... <laughs> <laughs> That's what, listen. Oh, now it's funny? This is what the North Korean, the North Korean labor camp guards would do. Yeah. They would rape the girls, yeah. impregnate them, and then sure. kill them. It works. It does. If you're looking for a system that works. It, that's true. You got to give a lot of credit to Kim Jong-un and the, the, the country <laughs> he's set up. Hands down. Good system. <laughs> anyway, so we've been so having a great then. time. And um, <laughs> Wait, hold on, but I didn't bring up the best part of our night away. Yeah. Is that so? We're sleeping. We had a wonderful dinner with some friends. We drank a lot. We ate wonderful meal. And I'm laying in bed, and this is the middle of the night. This is two a.m. And I feel the bed shake. Oh yeah. Right. And you know, you know, whenever you're sharing a bed with someone and the bed is shaking, if it's not an earthquake, something bad is about to happen to you or is happening. It's not a good thing when you feel the bed. <laughs> So I look over and I just see a shadow of Tom on his back and he kind of stops doing what he's doing. The bed stops shaking. And I go, are you, are you touching yourself? And he's like, yeah, yeah. No, it just relaxes me. I go to sleep this way. Mm -hmm. And you were, so tell, tell me about your dick touch method. First. Okay. First of all, let's be clear. And we had, by the way, we did it. We did it. We did it. Okay, then we go, we have uh, dinner. Yeah. Then we go back to the room. Here's the thing. I didn't love the bed. The, right. The, 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 the mattress. Sure. I didn't sleep that great It wasn't it. a sought for ma- mattress. It's true. I didn't love the sheets. And here's what's, a lot of times. It was Brooklyn. If I'm, um, if, I'm, if I'm awake, like, like 4, 5 a.m., and I want to go to sleep, I give myself a little tug, like a little one, <laughs> just to send dick sensations through my body. And then I go to sleep. Right. I don't actually, it's not jacking off. It's like, it's tugging. It felt a little aggressive. The well, bed, it's a the little, bed was it's shaking. tugging. And then like you, you get like a sensation through your body. You just close your eyes and you're like, <laughs> and then <laughs> that feeling sometimes will knock me back out. So it's self-soothing. It's self-soothing. It's, it's what ba- babies do it to. Yep. You're just self-soothing. I'm right. just self-soothing and I... I feel it. Right. And so, and I, so I was trying to get myself back to sleep. But what I ended up doing was waking you up and having sex with you. <laughs> <laughs> but let me just brag. Can I yeah. brag a little sure. bit? Sure. Yeah. For a man of your age, mm-hmm. you did it twice in like less than 12 hours. Yeah, it's pretty and so bad. very firm erections with no yeah. assistance. Well, it's not going to get hard till I'm ready to come. Yeah. <laughs> True. And let me tell you, to the married couples out there, you guys have been cooped up with your kids, too, for months and months. It really made me love you again. I felt a sense of adoration and love. It was good. It was good to do. Yeah, and you were nice to me for like 72 hours until the poison built up again in your body and I had to put out again to release (laughs) the tension. But I have 72 hours, I think, with you before you have to ejaculate and then you become normal. Now, what's the cum count? What are we up to right now? Oh, yeah, I kind of got lazy on my... I just know that I got to get a few more in. Let me see. I got my. I can't uh, wait for you to shoot shoot your blanks now. My jack chart here. <laughs> um, I think I got about eight or nine more to go. That's not bad. We could crank those yeah. out fast. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm pretty excited about it. So you just got to, you know, basically anytime you feel the need, you got to get it out. And then and then I can um, go f- no goalie. Just dump clips. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait. You and touring resumes on the road. You know what I mean? Strangers, people you just say, you meet and greets. Hey, what's your name? Dump clips. Yeah, bend over. This is going to go. There's nothing going to worry. You won't get pregnant. You don't have to cry. Stuff like that. Cry. (laughs) I got to raise a baby. No, there's no sperm in there. Shut up. You just fucking 
put it in wow. there. Wow. <laughs> so, oh my God. <laughs> We've all been there. You've watched all the shows you can possibly watch. You've reorganized your pantry 5,000 times. You've washed the dog. Now what do I do with myself? Play Best Fiends. I have it downloaded on my iPhone. I love playing Best Fiends. I love the colors. I love the characters. I am currently on level 53. Yeah, I'm kind of a baller. I've invited Tom to play, and now he's roped into it. Right, Gene? That's right. He loves it. Uh, you like Look. the slug, right? That one's slug. your favorite character. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I roped my husband into it, and now it's a family affair. It's, again, free to download and has literally millions of five-star reviews on the Apple App Store and Google Play. There's more levels, events, and challenges added all the time. You know what I really like about this game is that it's a casual play. Mm -hmm. It's not like, right? It's not like so involved you don't get anxiety or stress playing it like some other ones it's just fun it's a casual mobile puzzle game download best fiends free today on the apple app store or google play that's friends without the r best fiends anyways i yeah. did this i did this live event for flappers where i just like yeah. talked to people and drunk and drank with them it was really fun thank you for the people that showed up for that it was mm -hmm. really neat but a guy on this thing had an idea um, you know, your, your reluctance to cuddle me mm -hmm. is one of the, I, listen, it's one of the saddest parts of our marriage. I'm yeah. Just every night she's I, like, will you spoon me? Yeah. 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 I like how you say it. Like, you know, it's, you spoon me? like it's completely unheard of that a woman would want to cuddle. And <laughs> I mean, I'm a, I'm a dog. I'm a, I'm a Brussels. I, I need I need love and affirmation, and, and you're the only one I'm allowed to get this stuff from, Mark. You need yeah. to meet my needs. Yeah. So there it is. <laughs> now I make you come, Mark. Yeah. Where's my cuddles? Yeah. So this guy on this live thing said, "Why don't you turn down the thermostat, and that way he'll be cold and he'll want to cuddle." So I tried this theory last night. The house was freezing. Yeah. I was wearing a sweater and socks and my pajama pants. And I was like, all right, Mark, here it is. Let's go. Let's cuddle. And I jump on top of you to cuddle. And you were blazing hot like a briquette, like on fire. Daddy runs hot. Yeah. I have all Latin spices running <laughs> through my body. Yeah. So, I mean, there is some validity to your dumb argument that I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm hot. I told you. You're always hot. I told you. And you really were hot last yeah. night, even though I did try. That's why a lot step. of times at night she'll be like, oh, air conditioning. She's like, you think it's too cold in here? I'm like, never. <laughs> no, I don't think it's too cold at all. It's always too cold. I don't, I don't think it's too cold. And I show you the ba the baby's monitor and it's like 68 degrees. No, it's and the never poor baby's like that. shivering it's in there. It's never like that. It is never I'm like just that. Kidding. He's not really doing that. Uh, oh, I can feel it. Mm. Oh, that's gonna be good. Damn. You bet I'm coming up in me. Damn. You better believe I'm coming Almost up in me. Damn. Oh, 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 oh. Damn. You are terrific. I know you're gonna be good in bed. Ugh. Come on, Mark. Don't be stingy. Come on, Mark. Don't be stingy. Yeah. The That's Hen Dog, great. Don't Be Thanks. Stingy remix. Yeah. Really fantastic stuff, man. Oh, I also want to thank people. I've been getting a lot of feedback on my Netflix special, Mother Inferior. I'm like, Jesus Christ, people are so desperate now. They're down to the female comics, <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm like, everyone's been watching those Korean soap operas and where uh, the Indian shows are done. And and like, yeah. Netflix needs Fuck, to come I up. I guess we're going to have to watch some women. <laughs> yeah, 100%. There's nothing left. I'm serious. People are like, you're Because yeah, you guys really make some good. new stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching women talk. <laughs> <laughs> I really think that's what's happening. So thank you for everybody. Uh, if you haven't seen it, watch it. It's the only thing left to watch on Netflix. <laughs> By the way, I think you made a really good point here. Oh, boy. No, I you said this, know. that, you know, Trump has essentially <laughs> taken a like it's not a flat out endorsement but a sort of endorsement from rogan and it looks like biden is kind of winking at us yep like that's what it seems yes. like. yes so yep 
I don't know if you remember about a month or so ago, <laughs> we were able to find this. It's sort of like, um, you know, if you watch baseball and like the, the, you know, the third base coach might give a little signal to the, it's like, it's like, it feels yeah. like it's a, it's a signal to us. You, you know, I have to cut those teachers and firefighters, police officers and cut critical health care programs or stop work on roads and bridges. So what does the human cost uh, of lack of state and local fiscal right? relief look like? I heard it. It was a Biden fart. It was a Biden fart. And so we were like, is he trying to get he's, on the show? He's trying to court the, the YMH. Yeah. Fart is what well, anyways, there's a new one. No. Yeah. New, new. Yeah, he's clearly he's, shouting out to your mom's house. He's looking for, like, support, I think, yeah, from us. from our listeners. He's yeah. like, oh, is Trump getting Joe? Like, he's like, can I get maybe a little support it's from you guys? For sure. Why in God's name don't we teach history in history classes? A black man invented the light bulb, not a white guy named Edison. Okay? Wow. And that's not doctored. Oh, we are went, you we went, sure, Tom? It's not doctored. And not only that, we were able to boost it. <laughs> not a white guy named Edison. Yeah. So what happens is... Wow. Because I've farted many times performing. Sure. So, um, like. so he's got a wireless mic, the mask on. They have raised the gain on that thing way 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 up okay as you oh, can even wow. tell the way that it, it resonates in the room that, that it's not close to his mouth but it's really loud in the room and he's just up there walking around he's like i gotta fart i'm just gonna fart you know but it ends up not a white guy named edison it's definitely picked up wow and also nadab correct me if i'm wrong but didn't the ymh forensics team also cross examine the, the footage and yeah, that, see, that was my biggest worry, is that what if this fart was put in post-production? Yes. Right. But then we found a different feed from a different person in that room, and we heard that fart at a different, like, audio level. So it's like, okay, yeah. so it's, they snuck in this fart. Yeah, in sometimes, feeds. you know, sometimes you get fooled. We've been fooled on this show. Yeah. You know who we fooled, got fooled by? Who? You do, you do. I know. You not do you. Yeah, she, that's, uh, she's doing a bit. That's not the actual, she's making fun of the Bulgarian interior minister. Oh, wow. And um, this lady speaks like fluent English and she was doing she that like as a joke, but she did that really so well. Good. Yeah, it's been sent to me a lot. So oh, wow. just so you know, I got oh, all the messages wow. about it. Um, oh, so this one is kind of interesting. Uh, we brought it up before and it, it looks like um, uh, and more people are weighing in on RPC. Hey Hitler, I saw the recent episode where a fan wrote in about misquoting RPC. Oh, For as long yeah. as you played that clip, I have known that you have been misquoting RPC, but didn't want to be that guy. <gasps> wow. Since that guy was that guy, I'll have to be that guy too. RPC is actually saying get all with the all trailing off, as in get all of this. Sure. Remember, RPC is a showman. It would not be so unprofessional as to let a sentence trail off with get oh. So, I don't know. Get, I mean, get all. Let's play it, please. Yeah, I'm going to come now. Hold on. Come oh, get come oh. No, yeah. I'm gonna have to respectfully disagree here, Yana, because it trails off, but he doesn't finish. Get oh, what did the last guy I, say? I don't hear it. Remember last week? He said that the guy was saying, um, "Get, get." Do you remember? Ah, uh, again, ah. Uh. Oh, oh, again, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, again, oh. Oh, again, oh. No. That's the one. I hear that. You hear oh, again? again. Oh. Yeah, but it, it's one of those things, too, where it's like as soon as you hear a suggestion and then you hear the audio, exactly. like yeah. it sounds like what the yeah. suggestion was. Yeah, I'm kind of calm now. Okay, let's hear it again. Okay. Oh, again, oh. I think it's oh, again, right? Oh, again, oh. I don't know. Yeah, oh, oh. again, oh. Mm -hmm. I hear that. The mystery shall remain. <laughs> And unfortunately, I don't I don't know if he knows what he said in the moment. You know, it's a hard question to validate. I mean, this this next one's about it. I, mean, I don't know. These are all about this. Oh, oh people are wow. all wearing hot topic. This, uh, this um, they said, oh, oh, again. Oh, this is incorrect. Clearly, the correct line is oh, ghetto. Oh, ghetto. Oh, ghetto. <laughs> I mean, that's funny, but no. No. Hey, R words. I mean, come on, guys. Don't write an email like that. I think you all misinterpreted the honorable RPC. <laughs> it's obvious to me that he's saying quiero, the Spanish word for I want, and not oh, oh, and get off. Let's see if we hear quiero. Oh, quiero. 
<laughs> yeah, that actually makes sense now. My, and by the way, where does RPC live? Spanish Harlem. Oh, wow. 124th and 1st Avenue. 2395. 4th, 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 4
You don't disrespect. All right. When are you going to transition to become a woman so that you can play against other women in tennis and kill them like this? I would love to. I've been playing a lot of tennis <laughs> and it'd be so much easier to play women because they're not as good as athletes. Well, I don't know about that, but you know they're I mean? probably some of them you're stronger than just by virtue yeah, of you by, being born. By some you mean biologically all male. of them. But oh yeah. my God, that is not true. Are we going to have like to Billy could, Jean King? I could never beat obviously like a pro male Serena. player, but like a woman player, probably like another couple of months will be ready. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? All right, Tom. Because <laughs> they're women and they're not good. Women are so stupid, right? Yeah. Who would you pay? Let's oh, see. that. what about Sharpova? She's hot too. And she's hot and she's retired. Yeah, I could beat her tomorrow. What about Serena? You could beat Serena <laughs> tomorrow. Nah, Serena, I need a, at least another six months of training. Six months? <laughs> Who else you got? Um, uh, I don't know these ladies. I'm not familiar some with them. Steffi Graf. I remember her. Oh, she Steffi. was dominant, but she's retired. She's I could great. definitely beat her. Chris Everett. Yep, she's old. I could beat her. <laughs> mm, yeah, most of these ladies I don't recognize. I could probably beat them. <laughs> Anna Kornikova? I mean, look, I've been playing for six weeks. There's no right. way. No, I know. It's like, how long does a man have to train to beat a woman? You know, a week. Couple months. I, c- maybe. I do want you to transition though, so you can play against women. It's cool that you want <laughs> really me to go fun. through that just like to see what happens. <laughs> transition to being a woman. Let's see how it goes. But don't you think the listeners will want that too? I, I think, think the, like the listeners want it. That. It might adversely affect my life in some way. No, but why? Yeah, I think it's worth it for like. Yeah, it was cool how it worked, <laughs> or how it didn't. But you know? I don't want you to cut your penis off. I right. would, but I wouldn't mind if you were a little more feminine at times, like cuddling. What if stuff I'm in? What if I transition? And, okay, I transition to be a woman. Woman. Yeah, I I register. I'm good enough to play now on the <laughs> on the women's tour, and then during like a big major, like a finals match, yeah. Australian Open kind of thing. Um, and also I don't shave my leg. Like I go, like, <laughs> you're just yeah, this. I'm and this. I, I have like I have a ponytail, but no hair on top. You know, um, and I got like one big tit and one kind of flat. <laughs> But like on a big point, my cock falls out of my skirt <laughs> and it's on <laughs> it's on international. And they're like, oh, uh, <laughs> Tammy Segura had a uh, uh, wardrobe mishap. We're, we'll be right back. And then the umpire comes down like your cock and your balls just came out. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm halfway transitioned. <laughs> How do you think I'm beating all these women? <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> You would be the ugliest. You would be such a And then Ni- Nike gets behind woman. me and they're like, support Tammy. <laughs> well, that's the best part is um, are all the endorsements and the support you would get oh, yeah. from the far. Oh, I'd be the, uh, the woker. sports person of the year. <laughs> person. Person, yeah. The sports person of the year. What are you searching for in a dub? He's looking for an image of me as a woman. Yeah. Um, That'd be really fun. Right before we break here, we do have a follow-up. Do you remember this... Really, really, really cool guy. Ted Dorian, I'm cherished the yeah. fucking ground. Yeah, he's rad. Fucking float across. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Really cool, right? Oh, yeah. Mania, right? Yeah. God, I love you. <sighs> I'm just calling it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, that was that was my favorite part. That was cool. Would you want to know why? Mm. It reminds me of you, and it's not something far off from what you would do. Like you would incorporate the rip, the burp into what you were already doing. <laughs> it was pretty it's cool. Pretty uh, funny. I got to watch this with uh, Drew. If you watched yeah. Doctor Drew After Dark, it came out uh, last mm. week, and um, I gave him my assessment that I thought <laughs> he's like. And what do we learn about? Oh, what was that? <laughs> and he's like the possibilities. I go. I think this is mania, and he watched mm. it, and he goes, "I agree." And he also pointed out that uh, this gentleman. Fuck um, around, rock around, run around, <laughs> fucking sue around. He goes. Someone's been a very fucking naughty fucking girl who needs a fucking spanking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Molly Wallace. I don't know why this is. I fucking love you. Okay. So, Dr. Drew pointed out, he goes, that is not a bandage you get at the doctor's office. <laughs> it's a bandage you get at the hospital. Oh. So he goes, our man here might have, uh, you know. Just kind of gotten out. Just kind of s- checked himself out of the clinic. Well, know? all I know, I haven't seen it, is that um, we have a follow-up video of this guy. Wow. Well, first of all, let me say, I still choose the sissy of Fremont over this. This guy terrifies me. 
The this mania? guy is kind of scary. This guy is the actually mania? kind of... mania? This is very unpredictable guy. And those look like turds on the ground behind him. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Well, here you go. Here's the new video. Uh-oh. Hi there. So we had a little bit of a, a guitar to rock. I've got to rebuild my guitar. I kind of broke that one pretty well. But hey, je suis le luthier. We're going to make it better, bigger, faster, stronger. We're going to have the $6 million record. Also, it looks like we just got out of the shower, but there's nothing on the floor or in the room. Yeah. Like he's just sitting on the ground. On concrete. Yeah. Even. Mm. And by nothing on the ground, like not carpet or wood. Or a chair. Or anything. Or anything, yeah. Jeez. And now I'm going to go and uh, I think I might get all sweaty and elite up with the women's lady football team on Sunday after the fucking game. Woof, 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 yeah. Um. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, it's hard being me some days, but someone's got to do it. Ooh, ooh, the lick. So is this to a specific person, though? Yeah, Molly Wobbles. You didn't hear? But, I mean, is 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 he actually... He's got a lady. It's He's Molly. just posting it on Instagram. It's like he's posting these himself. Okay. But yeah, it's hard. It's kind of hard to to decipher what exactly is going on here. Yeah. Listen, I'm gonna go out on a a limb here, and is it limb or a ledge? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go out there and say that he's trying to court a lady. I, I think it's right because aren't most men motivated by courtship, mm -hmm. women, wops? Yeah. Do you remember this lady? I'll switch because this guy just made me really uncomfortable. You don't, yeah. Let's have some fun. He shut you down. Fun, fun. Sure, sure, That sure. was not fun. No. You know why you don't fuck your friends? I love her. I'll tell you why. Yeah. You find them hideous. True. That's why you don't fuck your friends. Yeah. That's so true. This lady, we played her a long time ago. Yeah. A long time ago and... She but said, that's what I'm talking about. It's like, I don't know why we divide sex from our friendly relationships with people. Look, you're two adults. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. You're not related by, by blood. Fuck! Yeah. yeah. And she was really aggressive, you know? I remember. I'm, I'm tired of the society where people pretend to care about people. <laughs> like, you know, it's like, it's like these poor like, people with Down syndrome, you know? Like, 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 you know, they're put into this world and nobody's gonna fuck them. You, you might have true. people who are like high functioning. And yeah, these people go, oh, I love these people. I take, you want to be a helpful straight woman? Open up a nice little lesbian sexual clinic. And you can go in there and dress up in a nurse's outfit with a short skirt. And you can come in and go, hi, honey. Time to get your sponge bath. And then you whip your tits out and you rub them on my fucking, rub them in my face. It's not always that you get to play that for a lady, but she earned it. She yeah. did earn it, Tom, and I would say she's more inspiring than some cool guy. She puts it out there even harder. Well, guess what? W more? There's a new video. Well, hold on. So this is like a recap of who uh, she oh, was. Oh, I remember this very yeah. well, and I what I hope she has in the new video, since I haven't seen it, is I hope she's still not wearing a bra, because what I remember is how much her tits swing in this and one. And also that that shirt is dope as fuck. Is fuck, yeah. yeah she's tight rad. Shirt. All right, here we go. Every guy <laughs> on the planet lacks organization whenever you go over to a guy's place you know whoever it may be his apartment is always a fucking goddamn colossal mess it's always a fucking colossal mess mm -hmm. and he's always telling you and he always you know how guys talk to but yeah well, was... you know yeah this stuff um yeah yeah this is a side project <laughs> You know, I got to add that just because, I, you know why I make these funny noises? It's because I really just, the noise indicates when I go, <laughs> it means I want to bash their fucking heads in. <laughs> I get it, That's sister. why I make that noise. It's like an expression of, like, anger. But every every guy does that. He's like, yeah, this is, uh, this is just like, you know, it was a summer project, and uh, yeah, that was a spring project, and I, uh, shut the fuck up! You're a slob! 
Okay. They just fucking admit it. You're a slob. First of all, I just Gosh. want you to know that I, I think your dream came true. I don't think she's wearing a bra. I think you're right, Tom. Yeah. I see a lot of jiggle. It's a lot of jiggle. And I want to know, let's let's go through the checklist. Yeah. Uh, she's lying down. Check. Yep. Unflattering angle. Check. Yep. Poor lighting. Check. The sound quality is a little too good for a cool guy video. <laughs> Fine. Fine. I think she might be a little angry. She's got a lot of anger. Yeah. A lot of anger. I don't think... Every, she... every time I go over to a guy's house, or if I drive in a guy's car, if I ride in a guy's car, the car is a goddamn mess. There's fucking trash on the floor. I don't know how straight women deal with it. I really don't know how they deal with that. I don't. I don't know how they deal with it. <laughs> well, she's wrong because your cars are cleaner than mine. Yeah, you're actually the car cleaner. And if their husband is uh, is a, is a clean freak, he likes it up the ass. Oh, Tom. Chances are he likes it up the ass. Tom, you're gay. That's just the way it is. That's that's the fucking nature of mankind. You get a guy who listens to Barbra Streisand, likes to clean up things, clean and neat. That's he nice. likes to take it in the ass. Oh, my God. Are it's you? just like the gays. <laughs> yeah. Are you gay, Tom? Yeah, I keep my yeah. car clean because I want it up my ass. <laughs> yeah. I see the correlation. Yep. This lady, she's really upset. I, I was hoping she'd have gotten laid I know, by now. And I just like, I was hoping that that would be the palate cleanser and it isn't. So I have to go to one that I know. I know. I really hope you're going to pull up what I think you're going to pull up. Really? Okay, well, I think this is pretty great. Okay. Ready? Watch mm -hmm. over here. <gasps> That's not what I wanted. Somebody got hit on a scooter, and they go flying, and they let end up in the gutter. And then there's a, here's the follow-up. All the way in. Is that a woman? Yeah. But look, they have to take apart like the sidewalk. And that is why I know I can beat women in tennis. They're just not that <laughs> coordinated. You know, they're not that strong. And they're not that smart. <laughs> unprompted. Clean up unprompted. Unprompted. Yeah. I put down my credit what card. What did you think I was going to play? It never gets declined. I thought you were going to the video that we were playing when we rolled in this morning. And you're like, is that on, is that TikTok on this oh, roster or oh, is okay. it a live show? Oh, that's a silly thing. Maybe that's, that's, a, that's all right, let's go. That's let's a good go one. take a break here. We have to take a break, but I'll just play this one. This one really brings joy to everybody's life. Um, Everyone I've sent this to, they really liked it. Yeah, I just, I don't know what <laughs> it's called. It's, 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 it's in the, the talks? Last one. Yeah. He said it's already in there. I'll, I'll go ahead and keep going. Number four in the TikTok there folder. There it is. That's oh. it. You just passed it. Go back one. Go back one. That, no. No. I just, you just had it. It's not there. It just did. I really? Just, that's oh, it. Oh, there that's it is. It. It's number eight. Nine. Sorry, Boing. it's number nine. Um, okay. And we'll take our quick break after this. Yeah, okay? I can't Here wait. Here we go. Ah, <laughs> One more time, one more time, just to watch for authenticity. <laughs> that is like a huge <laughs> load that came out. I know. So it makes me wonder if this is a manufacturer talk. It doesn't matter because it's entertainment. It's but exactly. The entertainment value is really there. Because I was, I mean, this I'll pose a question to the guys in the booth as well. Have you ever sharded a solid log or is it always liquid? It's generally liquid. Yeah, it's a, it's always diarrhea if something right. escapes me. <laughs> yeah. I've never had a log just shoot Well, out. maybe someone has. Has yeah. anyone sharded a log? Any? <laughs> Any never farts even. I like to forget when yeah. I shard yeah. or shit in general. So I'm, I'm not sure. I don't recall. I will tell you this that I've had. I have had like, oh my God, I think I'm going to like have a messy brown and you sit down on the toilet and it's a solid brown yeah I've that's had that. that's unique sometimes you're like oh wow i thought this was gonna I, like all the internal signals were one way sure but you know uh well let's take our quick break yeah. okay and we'll yeah. be back and uh we'll be back in a moment ymh will be right back gene i am obsessed with the song by this girl heather porcaro it's called new breakdown and i've been listening to it over and over on my raycon earbuds 
I love Raycon earbuds. They are premium wireless earbuds, and they're just half the price of the other they're ones. They're so much more reasonably priced, and they work, uh, in my opinion, as good, if not better. Like, I don't understand better. why you would do something pay so much more they're awesome you can, and you yeah. can make i make phone calls on those new ones what are they e the e25 earbuds yeah. they you walk around talk then oh jump and they on. look cool they look cool and um there's six hours of playtime on the e25s seamless bluetooth pairing more bass a more compact design and a noise isolating fit they're discreet they're stylish and gene did you know that the company was founded by Ray J. Yes, I did. And that there are super celebrities who are obsessed with these earbuds. As they should be. Celebrities like Snoop Dogg mm -hmm. and your favorite, Mike Tyson. Iron Mike. Mm -hmm. Give him a try. So for a limited time, get 15% off your order at buyraycon.com slash YMH. That's buyraycon.com slash YMH for a special 15% discount on Raycon wireless earbuds. Make sure to check it out now while the deal's running. Buyraycon.com slash YMH. This episode is also brought to you by Whoop. It's 2020, an awesome year, if there ever has been one. And we all want to live healthier lifestyles. It's great to have this little device on my arm 24 seven, giving me insight into what my body is doing, what my body needs and how it's responding to what I'm doing. You input, um, you know, I put in like, oh, did I have a drink last night? Did I exercise? Well, it kind of automatically does that. It tells you, it knows like what sport I played. It knows that I played tennis. It knows that I box. It knows that I weightlifted. It tells me when to go to sleep, which I find to be one of the most important uh, aspects of the Whoop. I love the sleep coach where it tells you for you to be at your best, you usually need this much sleep. You should try to get to bed soon. And I actually listen to it. For our listeners, Whoop is offering 15% off with the code YOURMOM at checkout. Go to Whoop, W-H-O-O-P dot com. Enter your mom at checkout to save 15%. Get to know yourself on a deeper level. Unlock yourself with Whoop. And we are back. We're so excited to bring uh, a guest who we uh, it's been too long since we've seen. We've plugged his work before and a reminder that you can see or you can listen to his new album, Everybody Wants Some, everywhere music is streaming and available. And you can also check out Conversations on Amazon Prime. It is the always hilarious Ian Bass. Oh, Thank you yeah. so much for coming. <laughs> Good Thank night. Good Thank night. you. Thank you. <laughs> Missed you so much. And just so you know, know, Ian Bag is really the king of crowd work. The best. And you have I've to said it watch many times. it. Mm. Yes, watch conversations. Download yeah. everyone. Want, everybody wants some because you you must. must yes, hear it I mean a time. great comic outright, but the way that you work a crowd. I mean, oh. I've told this story before, but I remember early on. You know, I wasn't a regular at the store, but I, I would get I would work those shows in the belly room. Mm -hmm. And sometimes like the shows would have like 11 people at it. <laughs> I and love you're like, those. You're like, fuck. Yeah. You mm -hmm. go up there and then Ian would turn the 11 people into like I'd never see. I still haven't seen anything like it. Like you'd make 11 people sound just, like just to let 800. you know, 11 people now is a sellout. That's true. So <laughs> it's, it's I was preparing time. for this. It was a new time. But I mean, you could work them into a frenzy. And I, we would in the, oh. we would all be in the back being like, how is he doing this? Yeah. Like you would just you would just play them, man. It was amazing. My first experience with you was when you bought a BMW for 17 bucks. Oh, yeah. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> what? I don't know yeah. That. He found he found in the paper the wrong price or something like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, that is impressive. Yes, that's true. Yeah. And yeah. I just then I had to watch your comedy. I'm like, oh, he's fantastic. I Aww. printed it out and mm -hmm. then I brought it to the dealership and I was like, this is what you're selling this for? And they're like, that's a mistake. I go, that's what it's advertised as. And they were like, all right, we'll be back. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> and then the guy came out and he was like, yeah, all right, whatever. He's no. Like, we'll lose 11 grand on this. I was like, okay, great. Oh my God, and then he I took it and that. then he married you. Hey, yep. that's yep. how he got me with that's that $17 right. he was able, Beamer. And he was able to spend all, all that money on a ring. That's hey. right. Mm -hmm. If you um, like it, you better, better put a ring on it. <laughs> uh -huh. Stupid. Yes. But what I remember most is going to Africa with you and doing oh, the so Nando's tour. And you would just annihilate this audience and you know how hard that is to do another country and we were just lucky to get by tommy and guys I. let's talk more about me oh, yeah it's fantastic it was also yeah. wasn't it the best box i did festivals more after that Killed. you had you closed the first before is that what i did i can't yes. remember what, yeah. you were the you last would, guy before would, the intermission, the intermission oh, that, which yeah. is like what i've learned since doing festivals is like 
That's the money spot. That's that what is I the money want. spot. And you know who I learned that off of was Trevor Noah, because that's where he went on the first time I went to Africa. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? I was just like, oh, And here's why it's the money spot. You can go out to dinner after. You can do anything <laughs> Everybody afterwards. stays for the second <laughs> half, yeah. and you're like, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go out to dinner. That's what I did on Oddball. I, would, I, would, I had that spot, and then, then like, people back. would be on the second half of the show. I'd be like, oh, we'll be at the steakhouse. But bye, guys. <laughs> You'd be yeah. finishing your steak yeah. as the MC is oh, wrapping up. And by the way, you were smart, because you had bought this powdered thing you'd bring in your packets after the show you'll go oh no i'm on this diet i'm drinking oh, my, that's over I'm drinking my shake <laughs> and tom and i would go and <laughs> eat steak dinners <laughs> every, every night, night. I learned that from the first one because uh, <laughs> you could go there and they just feed you and you're like, what the hell? Is so you much. gain weight in Africa. You're like, yeah. all those commercials are wrong. <laughs> yes. There's nobody Dude, starving here. I was uh, opening by the second, by the last few shows with that. I'm like, I'm the only guy that got fat in Africa. <laughs> and, and I bought the biggest pants in I Africa. You, I remember you bought remember pants that? when yeah. we were there. Yeah. The guy at the department store, he's like, there are no mm. bigger pants. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is, I'm sorry, as big as it gets here. You're the fattest man in you're Africa. The fattest man in Africa. <laughs> Yeah, I would remember uh, joking about that. I was like, I'm the only guy. I, go, I said the like, similar thing. I was like, all those fucking fundraisers <laughs> are lying. Like, <laughs> you guys. So true. I remember walking out of the bathroom one time backstage. We, they, they were sponsored by Nando's, which is like their yeah. chicken, chicken, right? So we would have the, every, di- every night they had chicken. Night, peri peri sauce. Peri peri. peri, peri. <laughs> I walk out of the bathroom and Ian's standing there and I go, dude, I just shit like pools of blood and he goes you serious and i go yeah and he goes you have stomach cancer <laughs> <laughs> you're dying and i was like no i'm just kidding he goes, oh, i thought you were gonna die <laughs> <laughs> i thought we we're gonna lose you on this tour <laughs> by the way is shitting blood in africa yeah. normal 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 yep i remember i opened i opened with uh I'm originally from Africa but isn't everyone yeah that's, that's, that's a I was good like, one. and all the africans would say yeah. <laughs> no, not everybody's from here. Not everybody's from here. Get out. Get out. Walk with freedom. There were so many. We would go for like <laughs> jokes. Like, do you remember that I had the opener that um, that that they that one of the guys pulled me aside? I was like, why are you doing that, man? You're, you're bumming people out. So I would go yeah. like, who's from who loves being South African? And they would cheer. <laughs> and I was like, who loves Johannesburg? And then they would cheer. And then I go, who here doesn't have AIDS? <laughs> and then like. <laughs> <laughs> they would laugh the audience would laugh but like the americans like some of the americans yeah. on our tour would be like You're really making people sad well, when you do that no but Tom, <laughs> just people with aids but there were parts of of south africa where they would cheer legit like i don't have AIDS. yeah they were like, yeah, they would like, take it as like i'm hiv negative yeah, yeah. and then and dance like, oh whoops yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> the the one that you got was that that the one that was the biggest one where i was like i don't know how you'll make this work but you were like, you're seeing those guys with their dyed beards. They look like orangutans. <laughs> and you were saying it to staff and they were like laughing, uh. but they were like, definitely don't do that on stage. And you're like, no, I'll do it. And I, then I, I did that in uh, in Bangladesh. You did? Oh, wow. I said, I can tell who the leaders are. They're the one with the, the, the orangutan beard. <laughs> But it killed by the way. Because they're it dyed. Killed. They're dyed yeah. an, or, yeah. a ba- uh, uh, an orangutan orange. They're dyed yes. that way. So you're like, come on, guys. You even asked the guy, you're like, <laughs> you found a guy in like the third row. And you're like, were you at the zoo and you felt inspired? Why'd you do it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I yeah. love it. I was yeah. fantastic. You were you fantastic. Really I got to go back to Africa. I'm doing, yeah. I was doing well, great Well, what I love so much about you is that you're a nice guy. You're genuinely a kind person. Some people will disagree. Right. <laughs> and but I when, love those But people. when you go for comedy, you go right for the jugular. Yeah. There's no fucking fear in anything you're doing, yeah. man. There's like six of you left it's, in comedy. Yeah. It's just supposed to be funny there. It's just supposed Disagree. Uh, okay. Disagree. <laughs> comedy uh, uh, is about Anna, well, this is why standing you for the right thing to do <laughs> and making sure that other people feel like that it's the you said the right made a good point and that's where you're wrong it's, about it's not about feelings, you. No, i know i have the wrong uh apparently i was supposed to go for applause not laughter that's oh, what you're oh yeah yeah mm-hmm. oh, and now it's switched the yeah. the uh the, instead of the politicians getting applause now they get laughter it's all switched oh, it's switched yeah. over because when you watch it you're just like oh this is an hour of stand-up this is fantastic yeah oh, you're right god that's and then you stand up's like oh let me tell you about the time cry cry <laughs> cry 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 yeah it's true it's true oh my that's god a bummer i know oh, no like, it's what it is is like you come from the um idea of like go for jokes yeah like go yeah. for jokes we're supposed to find the funny in tragedy yeah that's yes. what we're supposed to do but apparently now it's turned to find the tragedy in tragedy yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's and it's 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 a it's a tough thing to do because you just you're supposed to bomb and you're supposed to bomb like you've never bombed before trying to get a joke to be 
right. perfect or work, you know, right? Yep. So that's what you're supposed to do, right? It's not supposed to be perfect immediately. Right. So if you're not, mm. am I allowed to swear on this? Absolutely. Uh, you sure cunting can. Hey, yeah. you son of bitches. <laughs> uh, if, if, you're, if you're, I don't even know what I was going to swear about now. But yeah. if you're not. If you're, you're not gotta, taking the chance, you, you must be able to take the risk to discover where the line is. Because right. the audience will tell you what's appropriate and what's not. And mm. where's the line? It drives me nuts when Can't I watch people get in trouble uh, on their stand-up specials or something they did earlier. Yeah. The judge and the judge and the jury was in the room with them, them that night. Wow. And, and if it isn't funny, they will turn on you like nobody's ever had anybody turn <laughs> oh, on yeah. them. It's supposed to be like that. And that's why you're not supposed to record every set. Yeah, right. that's why you know. That's why it's not supposed to. You don't not, put it out yeah. like t- ten, like after you've run your set ten times. Yes, yeah. or yeah. once. I, yeah. better put, I better put this on YouTube. Fantastic! Yeah. Oh I did God. it last night. You know, you're supposed to grind. You're supposed yeah. to grind it and hone it and make it fantastic. Any any bit that I've ever had that like really turned into like a home run mm-hmm. started as a big strikeout. Yeah. Right. You know, like fucking it up and yeah, not not saying the word. You know, just not figuring it out. And and I and I stumbled and fell on my. How face. many bits have you had that scared the shit out of you that you stopped doing? Yeah, like you're yeah. just like, oh my god, yeah, that, that, that is, that's going to get me murdered. And then a couple yeah. months later, you're like, I'll try it again. I'll try it again. <laughs> and, and then yeah. for some reason, you just change like, one uh, word, and, yep. it and it's fantastic. You know, yep. it's just so, that one word, it's just, the one yeah. thing. I know. Yeah. Wait, what's the hardest you've ever bombed and <laughs> you've been hated? Just How many hate? times? Yeah. How many yeah, times? I would love a good bomb. When have you offended you? the most? Where the line you just saw the murder once. What? This I know. This is a weird story. So I'm starting out in Canada, <laughs> <laughs> and I hear laughter over there. Yeah. How hard have you bombed? I solved a murder, <laughs> <laughs> but it it includes me bombing. Okay, so I'm probably two years in, and I go to this little town, Penticton, and the week before I was there. Uh, a, a retaining wall had fallen on a lady while she was gardening and killed her. And I was just like, that's murder for sure. You know, I've, I've seen a couple murder shows and I know murder. So I go on stage that night and, and I say, hey, how about that, uh, that lady that was murdered by her husband while she was gardening? And somebody screams out, that was my sister! Like oh, that. Oh, this is, this is within the week of the lady being killed by... <laughs> you know, like, it's, so, for, so in my head now, I'm like, why was her sister out at comedy three days right. after her sister being murdered, right? Yeah. So right. Th- uh, so I, I didn't figure you it out. You have a short grief period? Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm over it. Let's go. He's brought it back up. <laughs> so, uh, so, so, so I can't recover because people are just the mumbling. You know, it's, it's like one of those town hall oh, meetings on a cartoon. Oh, <laughs> just yeah. through. How do we do it? Torches come up, you know. Yeah. So I don't, I can't recover. I don't, this is like, I, I was the only time I've ever done it. I walk off stage. I'm like, good night. And walk off stage. And this is three years into my comedy. Yeah. I went back probably 10 years later and did a show there. And in that time, her husband had been put in jail for murder. Wow! And getting the insurance money and running off with his secretary, so I went on. So he like, did have he the retaining did it. Yeah, wall yeah. collapse on. Yeah, it. So she, he had it. He yeah. set it up. So he she was. Up. Yeah, so she was killed by the retaining wall. Oh, wow. Tom, so, there you go. There's an idea. So <laughs> that's how you get me. That's a clever idea. I tried. By the way, I tried it's just to get her garden to talk. Yeah. I tried to make a joke when you talk about things that you're like. Ugh. I tried to do a bit about being questioned for a murder, <laughs> and uh, it never got laughs. <laughs> I was always like, "This is funny," because of the. It was a guy that rented our office oh, had, yeah. had died oh. in the office, and they were like, the smell was like rotting the building. But <laughs> yeah. we had moved out of the office, but still had our name on the lease. No, somebody's so, after you. Well, when I talked to the LAPD about it, I go, because they had called and I was like, I had suggested something about him, him dying. And they were like, well, how do you know that? And I was like, no, I'm just saying, like, if he's dead in there, then, you know, I'm, I'm assuming. And they're like, why are you assuming that? And I oh, go, boy. I don't know, man. Like, I'm just saying. Do you not have Discovery Channel? It's, everything's a murder yeah, show now. Everything's That's murder. Why. And then, I don't know, the guy asked me like a, a handful of questions. So I, I tried to talk about it on stage. Every time I would bring it up, people were like, really? Yeah. 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 Do you know Brian Irwin? Of course, yeah. Yeah. he's found like six or seven bodies. What? He's, his neighbor across the street, somebody over there, and walking into a house. He's he's got all sorts of dead body stories. He's, a, wow. he's yeah. You should bring him on and make him tell his stories about dead people. That like six so or weird. seven? Like a ton. Like uh, we're just, <laughs> I guess that six or seven. If you weight him up, that's a ton. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I found another body um, in the field that one time with his head yeah. split open, but he was alive. 
That's yeah. not a body. That's a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but I, 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 I sat on him and he, he died. Oh, you took him out. You're yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah. bro, you're not gonna make it through you're this. Definitely not gonna make it. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna tell. Yeah. Right, here's a, where did you find a a guy in a field? Uh, so we had driven by the field and um, I was with my sister and she was like, you see something? We it was a one way street, so we had to go back around. Is this in L.A.? No, this is in Florida. Oh, and in the course. field, and what happened was, of course. what she had seen was a light that when we got closer. It was a motorcycle laying on its side oh. in grass and the light was coming. The headlight was still on. Mm -hmm. And then like 20 yards away, the guy was there. But he was out. At first, we thought he was dead. Right. And then when I, I went up to him, I was so scared. You don't realize. No doubt. I was 22 or three. I go, I touch him like this. and I go, sir, <laughs> sir. And I just, I touch him here. And as I touch him like three times, I just hear. Oh like, my God. I was like, oh, fuck. Uh -huh. I go, you were in an accident? I'm like, I'm, I'm not speaking, you know, coherently. Right, really. yeah. She's screaming. I go, just call 911. And as he sits up, his head flaps open because he wasn't wearing a helmet. Of course. He went through Florida. Spent, yeah. And then, and then I was like, you're going to be fine. <laughs> and they met a vacuum. I mean, they had a helicopter yeah. land in the field. And did he then, survive? Uh, yeah, he did because they yeah. sent me a subpoena to appear in his uh, oh, DUI great. case. What? Threw that in the trash. Right so, in the fucking trash. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Why would they subpoena you? Because I was a witness to the no, you weren't. aftermath, I guess. You I were know. not a witness. No, you, you weren't were, even there. You were, you were like one of those guys looking for change on the beach and you yeah. found a body. <laughs> yeah. That was, oh, we've yeah. had a couple. Ignore that. We've had a couple on uh, our beach because we live in. Yeah. So one of, them, one of them was they have to move sand sometimes on our beach and put it so... There's a berm for the waves, mm. and some truck driver just <laughs> some girl was lying on the beach, thump, thump, just drove oh, over top of her. I've right? I've heard of this happening before. Yeah, yeah so she's know. like sleeping on the yeah, beach. Yeah, yeah, she's like on a towel. Yeah, and he's like, no, 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 <laughs> nobody's gonna be on the beach. Ba -bump. Just and, and you know, just kind of pushes her into the ground a couple times, more times. Anyways, and the best one is <laughs> this is the best one. So I'm in, I'm in, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm on. <laughs> the best is ba -bump for <laughs> sure. Yeah. That's my worst fear when we lived in Redondo because I would lay out on the beach and I, every time I see these motherfuckers rolling, I, was, I would you sit gotta, up and be like, "Nope, you don't know they fucking you, see you." You gotta go. You gotta go where there's no tire tracks. That's the yeah. first thing. Like a lot. So that and, and be near other people. Of How about course. this right here? Right here. Look on this screen. No. Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Straight into a gutter. Isn't that from a movie? Isn't that isn't that the clown movie? Uh, th this isn't. This is a security camera. Oh, that's a security. Dan, <laughs> <laughs> hello. Like, and then oh. they have to take. Look, I mean, I don't like that. She goes yeah, right yeah. in the gutter. Oh you almost see her cooch for a second there. Yeah, almost. That's and they have exciting. to take apart this entire sidewalk. <laughs> no. Just way. to get her out to fuck her as a group. <laughs> 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 what, is that from a website called Toughest Gang Bangs yeah. in the World? <laughs> you guys ready? They pull her out. She's like, um. <laughs> Still got a helmet on. It's time. <laughs> uh, so we had, a, an, I don't know how we got onto this. Now, so one more our morning, I'm in uh, Indianapolis doing radio. Bob and Tom, I'm out there. Of for course. Of course yeah. Lovely times. And uh, and my phone comes across with a message. Hey, I found a body on the beach. Um, running late. Got to get coffee. Talk to you later. That's from my <laughs> that's from my wife. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Is this? She uh, my dog was barking at a guy that washed up on on the thing. And she went out and found him. Holy shit. Yeah. Whoa. yeah. But my wife's so nice. She's like, I sat there beside him until the, the ambulance came because I didn't want him to be alone. Aww. And, that and is I was like, nice. my God. Dude, but it's playing way over my head. Getting run yeah. over though by the truck is That's just terrible. You're just I, like, I'm just gonna take some, yeah. take some time to myself today, yeah. and lay yeah. in the sun. I'm just gonna get out and get some vitamin I dump truck. I knew it, and I fucking knew it. But let me ask you this: All right, on a real level, mm. because Canadians are known for being super nice. Some right, it's yeah. like the nice thing. It's like being Midwestern or something. Mm. How did you get? How did you hone this like just you zero in on exactly what sucks so precisely and you're you're very I don't want to use the word mean I don't like mean because I don't think so but 
But yeah, how do you get I'm to be toxic. from like <laughs> Canadian to, you know? Um, well, uh, honestly, it's the great. town I grew up in is very much like that. You're you know, Northern BC? Northern BC, Terrace, British Columbia. And by the way, you guys are popular everywhere. Like people that I know are like, yeah, you're going to be on. You know, <laughs> I love, I love oh, Vancouver. Good. I've always told you that. Yeah, Vancouver is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. favorite. I've never really been, I mean, you, obviously you fly over Victoria Island and mm-hmm. you, you know, uh, I've spent a lot, of, I mean, for a, a comic touring, I feel like that's one of my, well, you sell a huge amount of tickets up there, don't you? I do now, but I'm saying early on, even before right. that. Winnipeg's me, your favorite place, speaking of falling <laughs> art. You hit me up that night. That <laughs> night, you were like, what happened? I'm like, are you okay? Yeah, because it was like, you know, this was like before trending would, would really take off and people were still like, you got to see this guy, Bob. Like people were in that room. <laughs> like this. But I always loved Vancouver. Vancouver, to, that BC vibe, I could live yeah. in Vancouver. I think you'd want to live just outside of Vancouver. Vancouver, like... Uh, uh, it is great, but if you got a little bit outside, yeah. you would like it even more. I so, believe it. Yeah. Well, what is this? So you mean to tell yeah, me so that wait. everybody that is the, in the town that you're from? No, I'm telling common? you, Canadians. Canadians are very that's true, uh, acerbic. What, what, yes. yeah, yeah. When you get to know them, mm-hmm. that's true. They, yeah. Deep down, they're fucking. Because my friend Shane, who was on road rolls with me, we're mm-hmm. still bros, mm-hmm. and we text, and man, he just gets right to it too. Like, yeah. When he wants to zero in. It's, God, it's, he nails it's it. a little bit, um, it's, and, and I get in trouble every so often for it. If you don't tell the truth, uh, you're a fucking asshole. Yeah. Like if, if you don't, you don't bullshit someone. You yeah. know, you, you let them know. You let them know how it is. Yeah, you yeah. let them know how it is. That's <laughs> that, and, you know, like. That feels very Canadian to you? Yeah, to yeah. me, to me, Canadian is letting it, mm-hmm. letting it fly right there. And then and the person going, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. You know, whereas, yeah, dealing- whereas sometimes now it's. You tell them and, and they're hurt for eight years, even though they're the scam artist. Right. You know, mm. it doesn't make sense. So I feel like the being that straightforward like that <laughs> is not American. No. Because no. Americans are like, no, no, no. Bullshit me. Yeah. Tell me that you like me. Yeah. Even though you don't. Tell me, tell me that you're going to give me something and then never talk to me again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I enjoy a that. Big Canadian we're a fan of on the show. Mm-hmm. Hello. Today we're going to make oh, Johnny Nipples. French Canadian. <laughs> Poutine fries. Yeah. What are poutine fries? Well, yeah. poutine fries are basically your fries, <laughs> cheese, and a great appetite. Yeah. yeah. My yeah. Uncle Bowden. However, <laughs> there's going to be a bit of a change to the recipe. Everybody likes to change the recipe up. These ones are going to have fries, cheese, pig shit, <laughs> and pig piss. Ooh, it's going to be a treat. Really? <laughs> It, it was. I was fine with it. Then it just took a turn for no apparent reason. Oh, the reason. turn hasn't started yet. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. So let's get oh, it's happening. happening. Dog bowl, of course. Yes, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a dog bowl. I didn't oh, realize. Oh, fuck me. And he's got a dick cage. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you never know. You never know when a lion's going to try to take that. Nice. Big shit. Oh, actually, now I remember. This is the original so recipe for poutine. I'm sure all the fries are covered in... Caverton? Pig piss. Caverton. Pig piss. Oh. Canadian <laughs> 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 Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Just being so polite. He is, he got a pig piss. Now it's time piss. to give the main ingredient. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What's the main ingredient? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, look at the timing on this. Good for yeah. him. Yeah. Woo! Oh, I the timing <laughs> it's good timing right <laughs> like that's what you're fucking <laughs> it's gonna get worse right oh, oh yeah. fuck he's gonna ruin it uh what is he eating <laughs> it's poutine no but before, before that the Montreal? <laughs> like, <laughs> before that that's true is he like is that grass and fiber like well what? he's no. vegan so oh, that's of course. Why. he's a really healthy guy he just uh <laughs> kind of cooks this up special occasions <laughs> the worst is that he actually he takes a yeah. bite yeah oh, okay <laughs> multiple bites <laughs> So yeah. dig right in there. Anyways, yeah. dig right in. For us, when we think of Canada, uh, this is where our <laughs> mind goes. You know well, I mean? I'm going to be honest with you. He's probably got a cooking show. <laughs> let me just, <laughs> let me, uh, oh, Johnny, Johnny fake bra. I'm going to hold That's on. interesting that you say that, Ian, that Americans are not comfortable with that much realness. I think you're right. I think there's something. I think you're right. But you but, guys are like the fact that you can show that you're fine with real. We are, but I think right. the audience at large. I would make like a, you know, like at the Midwest and maybe the South. How do you do in the South? You know, it's I I do. Now I've seen I I I'm able to get them to come to my mm-hmm. game, right? 
So that's that's the thing that is is been for me. I haven't been able to uh, build this huge following. So I've been able to take people that have never seen me before and want to get on the ride. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, every so often there's a couple people that don't want to go on the ride and I'm always confused by them. I'm like, so you either you've either watched what I've done, shown up and then been shocked that I'm doing what you watch that I do. Right. Or you were fine with going to something without knowing what it was <laughs> and then being offended by that. It was something that you didn't want to see. Right. So it, it, the like, second one's even crazier yeah. because you think you would be researching if you're like, I need this window and this window only. You would research. I love like that. Motherfucker. I the know. analogy that people make for that with bands when you're like. Uh, I'm not going to look at who's playing tonight, but I'm going right. to show up. And uh, if it's not the music I like, I'm going to be pissed about it. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> well, yeah. I'm going to stay. Crazy. I'm going to stay and be oh, yeah. pissed, yeah. which yeah. is the weirdest thing. And I'm going to scowl yeah. at you and mm-hmm. heckle you. And, and then I'm going to complain at the end. Yeah. I'm going to eat the weird. whole burger and then yeah. say it was shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. God, I and can barely a, eat that whole burger. Leave a comment <laughs> card, too. <laughs> oh, comment. Oh, the Do comment. those exist? They used to. They used to. And then they gave them. There was a minute where the funny bones were giving select audience members a digital remember that like, shit uh, oh you know, yeah device, just like a tablet. glowing in the middle and they of the were show. like what do you think of the comedian the material mm-hmm. the feature the food the right. lighting oh and have them rate and i'm like but why are you doing this? the comedians this? were a very little thing with yes it was more about the food and the yeah yeah, yeah the environment yes. the parking was yeah. the parking convenient for you yeah <laughs> were you able yeah. to walk quick enough <laughs> yes. to yes. the club if you like our beer selection would you yeah. want other beers on here an eight hour <laughs> research thing during your show yeah that was yes. and then so like depressing. question 26 did you like the comment the thing yeah. that, that we do here <laughs> no okay yeah. so it's fine it's fine but you would come back and eat do here. you like comedy yeah no oh, but how about yeah. just restaurants yeah restaurants are good <laughs> okay then perfect good if we were just a restaurant i've always said from mm. like the time i started doing stand-up and figuring out comedy clubs the biggest thing that is the pain in the ass for comedy clubs is comedians they yeah. they yeah. would they hate comedians and everything yeah. they do yeah. like it's so it, it, have you, like the if you go 10 it's minutes so over true. they start losing their shit i'm like they're here to see me yeah. like yeah. they're not they're like, oh, i wonder what the funny bones like oh who's that guy talking yeah yeah well, yeah, c- yeah cuz it fucks up their the this the ticket drop sorry the, the bill drop right yeah. you went to then they could have that's 10 minutes they could have sold more drinks right and you sabotage the, it's like it's so horrible you're but right you think you would just be going you would be trying to figure out especially in these days and times you would just have it so you could keep ordering it so your bill would go automatically onto your credit card and you'd be that able would to keep, be too you know, smart oh yeah, yeah that's but that's no smart. they have to come Sorry. and drop it and then there's places that, loudly and yeah they don't even like i remember i worked i don't want to give the club there's a club where go ahead mention it well i, used, I had to tell them <laughs> it probably after is this. dead anyway yeah, yeah, that's true. probably dead. And when was the last time you two played a club? You Fuck know, off. I don't really want to say it, but it was in Baltimore. Oh, and, it and, doesn't uh, exist. Yeah, <laughs> but we were we're I'm, more, I'm on stage, and they have a door between the showroom and the kitchen. They prop it open, <laughs> so during the show, you hear Melissa, Melissa, are you going? Hey, are you going to come over on Saturday? I'm like, hey man, hey. I was like, do you want to shut that or just lower it? Yeah, and they're yeah. like, for no. what? I'm like, because there's a show going on. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Tom. We're not going to have you back. Uh, it yeah. turns out you treat our staff badly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about where, the where club? Where is Melissa? Is she still here? Or is she go- <laughs> no, she quit because of you. Because of me. Yeah. What yeah. about the club that would have the bar in the back of the showroom, and then they would run blending, ding, 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 blended ding, drinks? Yeah. Like, <gasps> the daiquiri well, thing? <laughs> where was it? Was that in, was that, was, was that in uh, 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 Baltimore as well? I never did Baltimore. Baltimore had a club that had, uh, <laughs> you paid $27 or something like that, and you got unlimited drinks. <laughs> That's good. No, this is yes. the worst. This Perfect. Is the worst. Uh, and, it was, and they'd have three shows. So, <laughs> like, unlimited oh, drinks shit. at 11 p.m., just like you've been, you've, you've been pre-gaming. Now you get to really get into it. And I'll have 64 daiquiris. <laughs> <laughs> and just like... It was just so violent. It was I did so uh, Baltimore. I did like a rock club. It's basically a music venue. It's mm-hmm. like a, they'll, they'll convert for for comedy sometimes. Tell me more about the success and, you have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they had in like in between like the two. The th- they have a around the venue complete like square. Gosh bar that goes all the way around the interior oh, yeah, 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 yeah. so for a music show you're like it's perfect right yeah. so the guy goes uh look we got this bar it's it's what we do here we're a bar <laughs> and we you're here disrupting the bar but we're, we're, um we're, we're gonna it. we're gonna have the bar open to the moment the show starts if you're cool with it we'd like to keep it open during the show 
and um, you know, we'll, we'll really keep it. It won't be disruptive, but it would really, we would really like that. So I go, okay. Like if you're saying it won't disrupt the show, then let's do it. So we do the first show, and it's just like. It's like a Changling construction site. I mean, <laughs> yeah. hey, Eddie, unload that truck. Like, like, it's like, it's so loud. And so <laughs> the dishwasher's in there as well. Oh, my God. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, and then, and of course, people being Vacuuming. like, hey, man, where's that tequila? And like, you're just yelling at it. Uh, so show's over. And I go, hey, uh, for this second show, we're going to shut down that bar. And he goes, really? And I go, yeah, because that's what I was listening to for the whole show. So distracting. Really? And then, then you just, during that show, by the way, was perfect. But as I would look out, because the bar is still backlit, I could see bartenders looking like somber. <laughs> like, like they just put them to sleep. Yeah. And they were just <laughs> like, <laughs> mm, <laughs> like sad. They powered them happening. down. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Oh, where yeah. was that? That was... Um, Vancouver. I don't know. No, no it wasn't. Was Canada's been nothing but lovely for me. Who, do you, who, who produces your shows up in Canada? Um, Who's your production people? I don't remember. You don't no. remember. You don't off want to say. Off the top of my head, no, no. I, I, off the top of my head, do you, I can't. Do you do just for laughs, or they, they don't? They don't. They've done a bunch of the shows, yeah. but they haven't done all the shows. Oh, I see. So yeah. they, they've done like because they do. A, they do a good job. They right? do a good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah. I mean, Wait, you know what my favorite club is? It's um, I don't, want, I don't want to say the name, but it's in the middle of the country, and on a Saturday night, when in the middle of your set, you hear. Oh, I know. Do you know what it is? <laughs> yeah, is know that in Peoria? <laughs> He guessed yeah. it. Like, I wasn't there in that? the middle of summer. I was there. I was just like in the in middle middle of winter. I'm like, is that, a, yeah. is that a is that a racetrack across the street? And they're like, yeah, but it's only for like the next thirty minutes, and then it's done. And you're like, it's oh. amazing. And then the, and then the forty five minutes after that, another great start. <laughs> yeah. uh, I my Peoria experience was. Uh, it's a good club though. I like. <laughs> it's, it is a good club. Yeah. But here, here's my experience. Uh, um, Hey, do you want to do Pura? I'd love to. Yeah. Uh, I don't look at a map. We'll see where it is. <laughs> Somebody tells me just rent a car when you get to Chicago and drive there, not knowing it's four hours away. Oh. So I, I drive. I drive to Peoria, and nobody shows up. It's empty, like empty. And there's a strip club right next door. Yeah, as well. that's my favorite yeah. part. Yeah. On my fourth show, I'm directly like, next door. Yeah. Dire yeah. Directly, directly next door. I'm like on my fourth show. I'm like. <laughs> There's not enough people here to do stand up. I'm taking you all to the strip club. Oh, so how fun. so like 30 of us go to the strip club. It's got less people than I do and I, I've never felt such success in my life. If if pussy can't win. <laughs> if pussy can't win. I've won this game. Yeah. Do you remember that the Cleveland Improv was oh, yeah. next door to a yep. massive strip, strip club. club? Wasn't it a male strip club? No. No, but it was like mm -mm. a mega strip club. Oh, there was cuz right. I remember that, that I got rough. I got um booed because a stripper died what, in there. Cleveland? Yeah. A stripper died <laughs> on on a job. On the job. No way. Yeah. And um, I made some, like, just throwaway joke about, like, her dying what she did best or love what she's doing. and <laughs> She died doing what she loved. Yeah, yeah. Love. Something like that, you know. Because <laughs> she had, I think she went for, like, some acrobatic thing and fell. Oh, no. From the wow. second story. You know? I thought you meant she OD'd. You were, like, she did some no, sort of trick. No, she did, like, a oh, trick. Wow. And she, she owned hearted or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I said something about, like, you know, don't worry. You know, there's not going to be any stripper death something like that and they were just like no i was like oh you guys have a lot of heart for the, <laughs> the place next door <laughs> okay that was all, that, that, was that cleveland improv was always hard. the most i remember i remember like the first time i went there i'm like who did you guys say was playing here <laughs> yeah because this doesn't seem like they're here for me and then it turned out to be fantastic but i was like this is yeah. Am I filling in for somebody? Because Same, yeah. uh, I think you forgot to take down a poster of somebody. Else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I remember I was like the only white girl on the whole year calendar. And I was like, Whoa. it's weird how cities do that. Like Denver improv was like that too. Yeah. You know, if you, but if you did the, it's way more. It, 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 yeah, it's my horrible. first show in that Cleveland. Um, I had a prostitute and the pimp are thrown out. There was a guy. No, it was, a, it was a hooker and the client were thrown out of my show, and they had the he had the Bluetooth in, and I could see in it lighting Cleveland? up in Cleveland. A hooker and the John. I had a guy arrested at my first Cleveland show <laughs> because, and this was amazing. Was there was, cops in that? Yeah, yeah there's a cop no, there. The Twenty four, but they called more cops for this. Yeah. No way. So one it's of the take items, more than one. <laughs> one of the items on the menu was this is so amazing, and I'm not exaggerating this. It was like one pound of chicken wings. Ooh. Right? And it was the that was the order. Mm -hmm. 
The guy orders it. Market price. Market price. <laughs> eats it and then goes, that wasn't a pound. No way. And they're like, they're like, what? And he's like, that wasn't a pound. And they're like, well, you ate like whatever, a pound. A pound. Yeah. yeah. He's like, there's no way. He, he starts asking them if that was the pre-frozen weight and the post weight. And they're like, look, man. He, right. He's like, well, I'm not paying for it because that's false advertising. I'm and with them. And they're like, you, you, or, you ordered it and you ate most of it. And so he goes, no, no, no. So they go into the, the lobby area where the bar was. Mm -hmm. And they go, hey, man, um, the police, you know, there was a police officer there. They bring in another police officer. And they go, here's, <laughs> here's what it is. I understand what you're saying. I understand about the advertising. And I understand about, you know, what you think it weighed. You either got to pay this or you got to go to, you're going to go to jail. Worth and he it. goes like this. <gasps> how, how much for seven ninety nine? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Good thing I ate well before I go to jail. And by the way, <laughs> that's my first time in Cleveland. I'm like, this is going to be a rough fucking week. Oh, it it going certainly on here. was. It's yeah. so bizarre. That, that area where the improv is and that strip club oh is, yeah, is, it's, you can tell bodies have been found there. Oh, like, yeah. it's so bizarre. It's just like, oh, this is it. It's like a, a scene out of a horrible movie. And then you go up to hilarities and you're like, oh, it is rainbows and lollipops. It yeah. doesn't make sense at all. And I, I, so for longest time I was managed by a company who I won't say the name of, but mm. the, I, I wasn't allowed to do now. hilarities. And one time I did oh. walk by and I was like, wait a minute, there's another club in Cleveland I can be doing that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Great. And yeah. I canceled on the other one and they were like, just don't go to hilarities. He'll be so mad. The owner of the Cleveland improv. I'm like, all right, shit. So for years, hilarities. I still haven't done he's hilarities. He's the sweetest guy. He, yeah, you got to do hilarities. Why I are know. I, just, I, I had it Why on the books. Why am I telling you to do I... anything right now? <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> he would, during the pandemic. That guy, what's his name? The, you remember the owner? Nick. Uh, Nick, yeah, yeah. So Nick would like, well, I hope it's he like, he's an older guy and he'd like do that thing where he touches your face. He's like, did you eat yet this week? <laughs> he's like, oh. he's yeah. concerned about he's it. Like, he's he like, gives you hey, gifts. Bring him, bring him something to eat. And you're like, I'm fine. He's like, no. What, you want salmon or steak or something? You're like, dude. Yeah. And then. He's very much like Mike Lacey. I didn't know that. Yes, he is. Which one's Mike Lacey? Hermosa. Hermosa. You got to have some food. You got to have some food. Sweet. And then Nick, he runs away and washes his hands. Nick, um, <laughs> back in the day, was boxed. Oh, you can tell, yeah. And uh, I went up to him one time and go like this, dude, box, bo like guys who really boxed, they have a, an instinctive reaction to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I went like this and he fucking jabbed <gasps> me. <laughs> uh, and he's still and he's like he, 75. And he built like a brick shit house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just like, you're like, yeah. yeah and I was yeah. like, he's like, well, don't do it. You freaked me. You scared me when you did that. And I was like, dude. <laughs> I thought we were fighting. <laughs> I thought we were oh fucking around. God. That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. You're part of that whole fighting group, aren't you? You guys are fighting now. No, you're shooting guns. That's what you do. <laughs> I've, I've shot guns. I, 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 That's so true. I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember. I see. I always. I, I don't I remember. Do, you I don't do jujitsu, but I do. I do box twice a week now. Oh, you do box? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I box for a long time, and yeah. I was like, oh, I'm not going to the Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was, and I do stand up and being punched in the head yeah, isn't yeah. good for it. I've only That's sparred true. twice. Yeah, and, and I don't do, I, I just do the training. It's yeah, it's a training's out. fun. The training's yeah. fun. And I'm not. You know, it's just. Yeah. yeah. I remember growing up in Canada playing hockey. The way you learned how to fight was grab onto a guy's shoulder, pull him towards you and punch. <laughs> you guys are that's, real, that's, that's it. real savage. That's shit. it. Oh hockey fights. God. Yeah. There's a there's a have you ever heard a podcast called Spittin' Chicklets? Mm -mm. No. It's a it's a hockey podcast. It's got a Canadian guy, two American guys on it. And it's hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious. And the mm. one guy listens to you guys and just absolutely Paul Bissonette. Oh, big yeah. fan of you guys. And really? It's, it's absolutely cool. hilarious. Yeah. This is a bar stool. It is a bar stool and it's it is Spittin' Chicklets. And it's it's funny for everybody. It's just so goofy. It's just it if it's the closest thing you'll ever be in into a, uh, in, being in a locker room, like oh, okay. that's cool. are these guys former players? Yeah, former NHL players. Oh and, wow! Uh, and they're just really, I think when you say Canadians, very funny, like just naturally funny people, and Americans that play hockey are very much the same way. Hmm. I will just say funny. this for the most part of all the pro athletes I've met, mm -hmm. like touring and everything, and they come to shows, the most. Like down to earth, who I wouldn't know who any of them are have been NHL and Major League Baseball players. Like they've always like at when they come to shows. How did you get Major League Baseball players at a church? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> These guys, they come in and like they're so yeah. unassuming and they don't ask for any. Like it's different. Like I've also met other athletes that are different. <laughs> that come to no, they just like it's a. Yeah. It, it, they let you know they're there. I'm saying on, on yeah. some some athletes too. 
You'll but in in hockey and baseball, no, they want to have fun. They just yeah. have. They'll, they'll mention to you at the end. Oh, I play hockey in town. Yeah. You're like, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, are you Angeles in a club games. league? Yeah, yeah. That's what they're like. No, no, no. no, no the Kings. Yes. But, you know. We I, had make, that. I make eight million dollars a year. <laughs> You're like, oh, oh, oh. We had like, that king oh. uh, that beat his girl that yeah, lived yeah. down the street from us for. Mm. He lived oh. like right on our street. The Russian kid. Yeah. Yes, the yeah. Russian oh, kid. Oh yeah, yeah, dude, that's yeah. right. Back in the yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. He had the wildest house he because it was all these traditional houses, house. and then he had like a fuck palace. He was very like, Russian. Yeah, yeah, big like very windows Russian. on the front door that go into the backyard, so You're like you can see through his house. Yeah. You know what I mean? Waterfalls coming off of like a. It's a very sexy block. house. It's very, very sexy. Very Lots of girls. Ferrari, yeah, nice cars. Nice. I like a pants that itch my pants. It itch my, <laughs> my pants itch me. You know why? They itch my legs. Makes it very yeah. sexy. Guys. Yeah, uh, it's sexy goods. Oh, I, I oh, there was a misunderstanding. My bad. What? It wasn't a. It wasn't. He said. It was a misunderstanding. That's when I. That's my favorite type of arrest. That's oh well, saying. yeah. Well, of course, yeah. I broke a TV over her head or something like that. It, <laughs> I said we're hanging this now. <laughs> <laughs> she said we weren't. It ended up over her head. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was. He was sent away with shame. Is he still oh, in the? No, he's in the. He's in the KHL now. He's in over in Russia. Oh. He's probably got a bigger house over there. And, you I know, bet. Damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Can I show him my? Short video. Yeah, sure and oh yeah, yeah. That one's you. I believe Ukrainian. Um, yeah. What language do you think's going on? Here? And also tell me if you sent if, if you think this is an authentic or not. <laughs> Definitely Russian. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that's a real log that came out? It's no, like, I think he had a ping pong ball up there and he yeah. just shot it out. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the game's not supposed to start yet. <laughs> Is that the guy who puts his balls in his butt? No, no, no that's no. Pierce Paris. Pierce, yeah. But do you oh, have you ever him. sharded a log? No, I and and it was a solid log. I almost broke through his pants. I don't know if you've yeah. seen that. That was very, very. That seemed like he had a gun up his ass. <laughs> like it really had some weight to it, you know. <laughs> it la launched a cannon. Yeah, I have a thirty-eight that I keep in my asshole. Right, yeah. that, that's why you got that kind of material on a couch. If you <laughs> fart like that, that is some serious material. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a kidney. <laughs> yeah, it looks like an organ. Can you back up? Can you show show how yeah. show how sweaty his armpits are? That guy's a mess in every way possible. <laughs> Let's see here. Look at that. Oh my god. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Jeez. Is that that is that that uh, the Russian guy that was uh, the the uh, opposition party leader? <laughs> He's sweating and shitting his pants. <laughs> <laughs> they, he just uh, his, uh, his little black socks. You know, a couple of weeks ago they just they just poisoned <laughs> the latest opposition leader. That's what they do they over did? there. But this is like the oh, tenth time no. they're like, someone's gaining some momentum. They're like, he's in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> he's poisoned. Sick. He's sick. Yeah, he's really sick. And they're oh. like, we don't know how this happens, but all these guys get. It's poisoned. weird. It's so weird. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have to check the water. These guys just keep drinking the wrong water. Yeah, all these guys that. Ra ra Rasputin. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I have this here. I don't know. I haven't seen this video, but um, it seems like it could be uh, interesting. Let's see here. Don't talk to me that way. You broke my <laughs> fucking heart. What happened to you? I can do whatever I want to. I care about you, you fuck. Or what the <laughs> fuck, fuck are you? Face. Shut the fuck up and sit back down before I sit you <gasps> down. Or do what? You think I can fucking put you down on your ass right now? Jeez. Whoa. My God, wow. that is a hell of a way to wear a sweater. <laughs> 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 I thought he was talking to a statue at first. I'm like, no. oh, now they're crazy. It's guys. such an aggressive uh, way to start. He's like, fuck you, you I know? love you. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a, that's a. Pretty sure he played for the Kings. I'll give you something harder next time, you fuck. I sucked your dick and fucked you in the ass. I love you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's awesome. I used, to, I used to have this roommate when I first moved to LA. And he was from Canada, Kelly Dixon, and he used to say the funniest things. He goes, that's one of those mean gay guys. You can just tell. He just fucking just really mean. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just like the gays. <laughs> <laughs> He's just really mean. But wow. haven't you want to? Haven't you ever I wanted to break up with somebody like that? Like I fucking love you, you piece of shit. Yeah, oh, I can't. You can't get away from that. It took. I love you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel like I want to break up with people. Hey, man, I'm having coffee say. with my mom. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That would be yeah. so brutal. A hell of a way to out you. Yeah. 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 Oh, and your shit. mom's like, what? I don't know who that is. Well. <laughs> Sonny suck your dick. Uh, I love. There's another thing about Canada, how great they are. They're just like, hey, we've got a disease going on. Everybody start using glory holes. 
to yes. hook us. Is that right? I saw yeah. that, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's Good. how great candidate. Look, you've all thought about it. <laughs> It's go time. It's go time. <laughs> and we're putting them, we're putting them in parks. <laughs> in parks. Yep. They did. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's yeah. so progressive. Advocating it. Gene, there's a lot you know about me. Did you know that I studied German in college? I did. I did. I you did. I did know that. Yeah, you told me that. Yeah. And lately I've been having this burning desire to brush up on it and get my skills back, which is why I love Babbel. Babbel is proven to get you speaking a language within weeks. Babbel designs their courses with real world conversation in mind, which is so much better than just memorizing stuff, letting you learn everyday practical conversations that you will uh, um, actually use. It's really easy because the daily lessons are only 10 to 15 minutes and start by teaching you words and phrases. Then sentences gradually get more complex and soon you're practicing short conversations. Uh, this is great. There's over 14 different languages you can choose from, including Spanish, which is the language you speak, French, Italian, oui, oui. Auf Deutsch. Uh, and Babbel is available as an app or online, so your progress will be synced across all devices. Right now, when you purchase a three-month subscription, Babbel will give our listeners three additional months for free with promo code MOM. That's three additional months free if you go to Babbel.com and use promo code MOM on your three-month subscription. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com, promo code MOM. This episode of Your Mom's House is also brought to you by Liquid IV. Believe it or not, dehydration occurs daily in three out of four people. With Liquid IV, you have the fastest, most efficient way to stay hydrated. Each serving helps you get as much hydration as two to three bottles of water. I mean, that even the water champ himself can sign off on that. And I got to tell you, there's no worse. You can tell. You can tell you feel it when you're dehydrated. I mean, there's muscle cramps. There's fatigue overall well-being is down and uh, you know this time of year it's still you, you still get dehydrated it stays warm and uh, this stuff is incredible it's packed with potassium vitamin c and other vitamins known to help your body defend against infections one serving of liquid iv provides the same hydration as like i said of two to three bottles of water alone that is incredible Liquid IV is also donating 3.7 million servings in response to COVID-19. Products are being donated to hospitals, first responders, food banks, veterans, and active military. Fantastic. Liquid IV is available nationwide at Costco and Target, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com. Use the code MOM at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you use the promo code MOM at liquidiv.com. Get better hydration today at liquidiv.com. Promo code MOM. Um, do you ever do you ever do sweet like playful things with your lady like pillow fight? You ever do that? Uh, yeah, who doesn't? I just when she walks in the door, you just crank her right in the Dude, face with it. This <laughs> might be a footage. This might be footage of you. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. You know what the sad part is? Uh, it's the opposite with us. Yeah. <laughs> she is so, she grew up with brothers, so oh. she's just uh. vicious. You just She knows how to throw an elbow. You're like, what the hell? I didn't even know I had that. She just like, gets right in. You're like, oh. This dude's I, big, too. Yeah, he's not, he's not a small guy. <laughs> I like the I like the way that she's yelling. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like they don't okay, have a safe word. Yeah. I know. You need a safe word if you're gonna play that game. God. And he's and got it, the hood up. Like he's like, you know what? I am definitely yeah. gonna murder you. Is I'm he, gonna kill you and leave. Is he huge or is that a tiny apartment? That's, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, because his head is like above the, like the the, the yeah. ceiling line. There. Like the, the ceiling, but also look at the floor. The floor is like a stage. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. That's what a, a dick. Tiny. Trying to. Tr- I feel like he hit her really hard. He did hit her he really did. hard. Yeah. And his yeah. his torso is much shorter than his legs. <laughs> <laughs> He's not equal. He's, that's true. He's got midget body with toro like yeah. normal legs. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Why bring him into this? By oh. the way, nice yellow. Very impressive yellow. Uh, we have a message. From somebody to Mark Zuckerberg, the uh, CEO of Facebook. (laughs) I don't know what it is, but I think we should watch it. Let's do it. Hello, y'all. It's me again. Uh, Just to let you know, Facebook, I'm getting fucking tired of it. You fucking fat checkers, motherfuckers. All right, Mark Zuckerberg. That's it. (laughs) I want you. You keep fucking up, Mark Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg? I promise you, I won't be alone at Facebook. Okay? Oh, Oh. I won't be alone. 
Cheers. That's my cup of coffee. I'm fucking bullshit. I'm gonna do another video to show you Mark Zuckerberg. I ain't fucking playing now. Mark Zuckerberg, it's a fair warning. Please, you need to get on your shit. Okay, this is America. Freedom. Okay, I, if, I, if I had to fight for my motherfucking freedom, mm. I will fight your bitch ass. Mm. Mark Zuckerberg. The real uh, Southern tell, too, when you keep repeating the name mm -hmm. of the person. Let me tell you something, Ian Bag. Man, Townsend. Ian Bag. <laughs> I got a problem with you, Inbag. That's because I have to remember who they're talking to. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, his braces, it's time for them to come off because they are not working. He's doing about as much with his teeth as his paint is doing with that ceiling. <laughs> Uh, and there's writing all over the ceiling, by the yeah. way. That's beautiful mind yeah. shit going on yeah. there. Beautiful mind. <laughs> beautiful mind. Okay, Mark Zuckerberg, I will beat Zuckerberg. you in front of your fucking woman. Zuckerberg. Look like she's from China or something. <laughs> I will beat you in front of your old lady, okay? Yeah, I'm tired of the bullshit. You're not going to sit here and keep fucking with my Facebook account. You understand? Mm -hmm. mm. I like that he thinks that, like the way to resolve this is directly to the CEO. Mm -hmm. Of like a, a, an enormous corporate, like mm -hmm. you have a problem with your account. Who's the CEO of this yeah, company? Let me send a video message to him. He might he might want to see the manager before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's probably a few steps between your Facebook account and Zuckerberg. I'm guessing. Which eye do you think is real? <laughs> <laughs> Over here. Uh, that one. <laughs> yeah. Also, is he in a shed? Like, what is this? Uh, that's the penthouse. Oh. <laughs> that's the top floor yeah. of that last building. Have you never been to like a St. Regis? Or? That's true. He should not have a, a fan in on I the can ceiling. I post the fuck I want to <laughs> post, but that bullshit talking about that one photo of that woman and whatnot I posted. What? First of all, it didn't show no tits, and it show no pussy, <laughs> and it show oh. her coochie or nothing. No. All we shown is her butt and her leaning against the wall. And you tell oh. me, so fuck you. I'm coming for you now, bitch. You know what? I kind of agree with him. Yeah. 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 Ain't no tits, ain't no pussy, just a butt <laughs> against the wall. And what's the big deal? And he, he also thinks that Mark is just flagging photos on his own, <laughs> which is a good yeah. sign. That's part. That he's just like, Mark's like all day, would this guy post? No. Nah. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Mark does it on vacation yeah. and stuff. Yeah. 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 I had an incident with Facebook not too long ago. Did you? What? Yes. I'll tell you, Mark Zuckerberg. I'm coming for you. I Let me tell you this. I believe it's Zuckerberg. <laughs> it's, well, I'll tell you. I go with Mark. That's the way I want to talk to him. Let me tell mm -hmm. you something, mm -hmm. Zuggy. Uh, <laughs> I posted a photo. Uh, I somebody. It wasn't mine. I just seen it. It was a grandpa lying on a on a um, lawn chair, and he looked like Roger Stone, and his nuts were hanging out <laughs> of his shorts. So I said, "Free Roger Stone stones." Yeah. And I put it on. 30 days detention. <gasps> wow. Yeah. Mark wow. Zuckerberg. Wow. Mark Zuckerberg yeah. is a fair warning. Fair warning, Bob. But did you make a video personally addressing Mark Zuckerberg? Uh, more audio than video. Yeah. You know, they um they have, because they own Instagram, they have such a weird set of rules that are inconsistent across <laughs> inconsistent. both platforms. And then they, you know, they get dragged as they should for being like, we're not going to fact check uh, any political claims. Right. And like, by, so we'll just let that fly. But, yeah, I, I did a, I reposted, the, people do these deep fakes where they'll put like your face. Yeah. On so, uh, uh, this Instagram user, uh, Juno One Nun, you know, he's he does a, he's great. He's a master. He does great I, uh, deep fakes. And he did one of me on this pimp, this dude named White Folks. Uh -huh. um, and he threw my face on there and they Instagram messaged my agency. It was <gasps> like, we're going to delete this account if, um, if this isn't taken down. And I bet you, what? if you go to Juno One Nun, that oh, there's his, me. He does his me is, as Vicky. Uh, it's so still great. there. If you go to his account, um, like so, there's the second one he did of me in the middle. <laughs> he did that one right there. But the other one, the, the one he did before <laughs> that, <laughs> is um, I'm not yeah. sure if it's still up. Is it gone? There's, is that Christina there? That his, one? Yeah, his he is gone does too? my. I haven't seen that one. The finger one. He does me as that there Vicky yeah. girl. It's yeah, really so they, he, they took it off of his too, and it was just because it was the guy saying. Um, like, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. That's the one. That's the one that he took, that they told me I had to take down. Yeah. it in the broad daylight with no ski mask, no nothing. Bitch, play pussy and get fucked. Fuck how it turned out. Hey, y'all. My nephew came and got me today. Told me I come around with him. He finna pick up two bitches. We get over the whole house. He tell me to get in the back. So what you do? I got in the back. <laughs> yeah, so, man, play my hold on. That's it. That guy was mad at you. 
not this guy. <laughs> but is that who complained? Is that who complained? White that folks, no. no. White folks didn't complain. Who? Instagram just messaged us and said, like, That's you're inciting violence with this. That? With that. So dumb. Oh, man. They might want to see uh, some of the stuff they're posting. <laughs> they're actually uh, posting this inciting violence. Oh, I know. Oh, um, and by the way, this, so there's two white folks, right? So then the other thing was another guy. Oh, is it folks. because it's white folks? I don't know. This is uh, this oh, is white folks right here. It's like right. By the way, so yeah. this yeah. dude messaged me that he'll come on the podcast. This, this is, guy? No, no. Oh, I was like. This guy. <laughs> white folks. Oh, yeah, he's great. <laughs> Don't know what you miss. You don't know what you miss. You don't know what you miss. <laughs> he is missing a propeller off that hat. <laughs> Your mouth. Don't talk to white folk like that. No Come on. He's hilarious. What did he say Strange. was on the ground? He said, he said, he dropped something. And she said, what did I drop? He goes, your man is. Don't you talk oh. to white folks like that. <laughs> and he walked around. Oh, He's, uh, but he said he'd come on the podcast. But I just, great. yeah, I just. From a I, distance. I reposted <laughs> that video of him being like, you know, don't disrespect my niece. Whatever he threw me on. And uh, Instagram was like, we'll delete your account if you don't delete this. I get a, 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 some, a lot of those fake ones, though, too. So you got to be careful you're not getting the fake ones. You know? oh. the fake, they, they send a lot. Yeah, of, no, this was like very By the way, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, love, I love when they're uh, uh, Roger from Facebook at gmail.com. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I know. Hmm, yeah. they didn't give you No, email, I get the huh? spam sure. ones, too. I get the spam. But this one was like through multiple channels, oh, and they were like, they were like you can't incite violence. So I was like, what are you talking about, man? That's Tom so does so not exciting. incite violence. You have to refer to yourself in third person like Garth. Yeah. yeah. T, li- T likes this. T's having a good time today. He's T, enjoying the studio, show. Studio yeah. T. I'm enjoying the show too. When are you guys going to do my show? When oh. Put me on the show. Well, you got. I want what you guys. It? It's called Around the Bag. Okay. And what I do is I do uh, three three guests, and they vie to become my best friend for the week. Oh, what they I do so. Be your best friend. So what you do is you just answer questions in a game show format. And then you and, and I give points away. Oh, and and oh. then uh, yeah. you choose a best friend. Yeah, I choose a best friend. So <laughs> you get to be my BFF for the week. That's a really That's good really concept. Cute. Yeah. It's a fantastic concept that I started as soon as the world shut down. I was like, I need something to do. So I did uh, I did 56 of them from March until you been July. serious. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then I was like, I'm doing once a week now and we're going to try to make this popular. So if people could watch it, I appreciate it. Is it, it. on yeah. YouTube right it's now? It's on YouTube and it's on my Facebook and it's on, I'm on Twitch now. What's it called stuff. again? It's called Around the Bag. Around yeah. the like Bag. Like Around the Horn. Yeah, Around the Horn. It's basically the same style, but it's yeah. goofy and I give away points from minus 50 to a billion. Oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's and rad. then uh, sometimes I just say, no, that's the wrong answer and give them the right answer. All right, so we'll gotcha. do your show. I want to okay. do your show. Oh, there he is yeah. right there. Oh, you look great. Yeah, I look like an idiot. Yeah, play that. That would be awesome. I'm going to play that. Okay, yeah. let's play. You got Jim Gaffigan on. Bag, and it's time for Around the Bag. Get your family, get your friends, get around the computer. It all begins. Uh, I'm not usually that good. Around. <laughs> yeah, but there's I like a pro- it. There's a promo in there if you can find the promo. Be That's awesome. good. If you can find the promo, we can play that. And maybe play. Get all the people. When they're, maybe, maybe, Did you see By the way, thank you for everything you nice you guys say you? about me. We Love yeah, you, you guys like I, I get all the time. Tom and Christina said that we should listen to him. We listen to him with Andrew Fontes. We I'm love like, oh, you. That's so we sweet. love you, Ian man. Bag Channel. Why don't you guys subscribe to Ian Bag's channel? Yeah, B A G G. Look at that. There he is. There it is. Big Support your Canadians. Bag on him. Yum yum yum. Terrace, British Columbia. Maybe talk. You guys should get the spit and chicklet guys on here too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. For sure. Yeah. Can we do um, some TikToks, please? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, first of all, I want to see who this guy is because this is a folder. A guy like this is worth examining, okay. I think, just okay. from the name of this. Okay. So let's see what he's let's like. Let's see what it is. Do you need glasses? Holy yeah, shit. Oh, I have got Jesus. glasses, but. Um, how do you wear them? Funny enough, since I've had my eyes inked, I can see me phone better. Yeah, but how do you, how you, do you put your glasses? Yeah, I do wear glasses. If you've oh, no yeah. ears. Yeah, whereas um, well, I ain't got my glasses on me. But uh, yeah, uh, what those are for here is to all be glasses on. Otherwise, I where, where, where? Point to those again. Where do... So that's like a pin mm. in where you hold your glasses, glasses on. Same as that. Same as this. Yeah. And it goes there, and they always be glasses on. And coming up after the break, Tom Segura from the Funny Bone. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. How do you follow the guy transforming oh, into a parrot? That's awesome. Good for him. Jesus. Wow. Yeah. Oh. This guy was just like, you know what? My personality as is is not cutting it in this world, so um, I'm going to become an animal. I'm right. going to just... Which Morph. one of those wasn't enough? Like, which thing wasn't enough for people staring at you? I yeah. know. Oh, good for him, though. Spikes and in your forehead. I do like that, that somebody like this. I think this guy has the personality. Just from that clip, I can tell where if somebody goes like, hey, hey what's going on? He wants to engage. 
like right. he wants yeah. to talk, which is so much better than the person who goes, who does this and is like, why is everyone looking at me? Yes. Right. You like know? the much defensive, better. like, what are you looking at? God, I'm just a yeah. guy dressed like a he, parrot. He I wants to that. talk to you. And how Facial you tattoos. We're getting a close up of your nose there. You're going to have your nose taken off. <laughs> yeah. What I'm going to have done, I want it shaped like a beak. Yeah. yeah. That's oh. cool. I mean, look. No, it's not. At cool. least he likes something. I don't know. I mean, what if everyone's got something. Yeah, they're like keep I a like couple parrots. spaces in between us when yeah. he comes on. <laughs> How do you approach him? Are cool. <laughs> Can you teach him to repeat yeah, stuff? Like a, you want a cracker? <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Throw some seed at him. Hey, I was just trying to say hi. How you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> See, there's lots of people that have noses like beaks, and they would try and get them shaped the other way. Why would you want to actually have your nose made more uh, pronounced? Because I'm crazy. Because it'd be like, uh -huh. like them. Okay. Oh, my God. And we're going to go ahead and call <laughs> uh, medical services to yeah. uh, pick up this guest. Which of those birds are you fucking? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it goes that deep? The oh, sexual? absolutely. You don't go. Yeah. You don't go like that if you're not molesting a bird <laughs> like there's there's no way i just i just enjoy the way they look no 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 he's you, fucking those birds. yeah they How like it <laughs> have you ever seen an, an owl when they pick up the like the feathers and they got really long legs oh <laughs> they do it's fucking hilarious oh, let I me see, see. uh find an, find an owl with, with his legs uh, just legs hanging out oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> save that one in the corner <laughs> 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 that's so funny I uh, yeah i never that. thought of that yeah yeah it's, all it's just a dress. Did you ever fuck an owl? I would if I was dressed like that guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh uh, all right, Gene, here you go. I heard you bitches right, for me. <laughs> so, uh, Ian, are you on the talk? Do you uh, do TikTok? I'm, I am. Just, oh. uh, just started. And What's your handle? Very bad at it. Ian yeah. Bag. Ian Bag. Yeah, it's tough. I'm, I'm at the Water Champ, but I don't produce much content. Yeah, but it's really important to give him um, sort of a heads up on what's about to happen. Sure. Uh oh, so, maybe I shouldn't have said that. No, <laughs> I'm not on it. No, no, no. That's <laughs> not going to happen. Okay. What's going to happen is that Christina has a very particular set of skills. Oh. And her skills are that she has found a way into the TikTok portal to find the hidden talks, oh. the dark talks, oh. the talks that TikTok. Doesn't, doesn't want, want you to, to see, see. Mm. the so, outliers. Here you go. You know, a lot of people do. Oh, we had a birthday party. Dance. Uh -uh. <laughs> After birthday party. This, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is this is Christina's lane. Here we go. I feel okay. Just I have problem with my asthma because of my upper toy respiratory infection. That's all I have, and my headache. <laughs> I feel fine. But the, I have like four different people calling me because <laughs> I have the coronavirus. She thinks she's on a fucking phone call Two right now. That's what I was one thinking. One doctor said I need to put on respiratory. One person told me uh, I'm going to die. I don't have much longer to live. Then I get another person and said I need to be put she's on in the phone hospital. Call? One said I need to be put on the respiratory uh, machine. Yeah. I'm going to call my doctor today to find out the truth. Nah. All right. I had, like, I'll call you back. People call <laughs> She doesn't know that she posted this. This is on my a favorite. Platform. This is my favorite kind of talk uh, where they don't know how to use it. Yeah. Oh. She may call a doctor, but she's never called a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> There's people sometimes that post things like, "Gina, I love you. I want you to take me back." And you're like, "This is a public platform. <laughs> like, just send the Gina." Isn't it, isn't it great when people did like. So a lot of people think I got the old uh, coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> people were, she thought, that when she, she just kept going, didn't he? I don't know why Jerry doesn't talk to me anymore. Just kept <laughs> she, on, she just kept on going. He's, he's not moving on his end. I'll just keep telling him stuff. <laughs> and then the doctor said, then mom put me on the respiratory. The respiratory. The systems. paratory. The respiratory. Oof. She's, she's very <gasps> active on that. Did you just pee on the floor? Oh, boy. Jenna, was this you? Bad girl, you know better than that. You uh -oh. pee outside. Did you do this? Come here right now. Oh boy. Yeah. Jenna, come here. Yeah. Bad girl, come on. Into your cage. Uh -oh. Nope. You know, you know, uh -oh. you know better than that. You stay in your cage. You uh -oh. don't pee in the floor. You pee outside, okay? All right. You sit in your cage and think about what you did. Bad girl. So. Hey. This girl. I've never is, wanted to fuck a dog before. Right. 
hugely <laughs> successful. Uh -huh. She's a dog really play this cosplayer, and she pretends to be a puppy. And I think she, I may have put one other one in there. Can I mention she's not putting an effort into it? Did you see the last guy being a parrot? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she's got to get a fucking little bit going. That's harder true. On this. And where's his TikTok yeah. account? Because I would sign up for that shit to yeah, see just him. him. Just him him on a, one of those posts. Bars yeah, and like standing. eating sunflowers. <laughs> this chick makes six figures a month doing, doing this. this Good for her. Would she make that kind of money if she was wearing a big baggy outfit? No. The fact that you can see your lips through her pants probably helps a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so I had right. mentioned it, sorry. Right. Let's see. Oh, is it so here she is eating dog food. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she makes oh. over two hundred thousand dollars. How do we on know only this? Only fans posting videos for herself. Uh, good for her. Daddy's gonna be bad. She pretends to be a dog. She eats dog food off the floor. Ugh. She plays fetch with herself and frolics around just like a pet dog. And but it, did we ever get to see off. somebody yeah. like fuck the dog? Or is it I don't. I'm not on TikTok. I'm sure no? I'm only fans. She makes this kind of money just doing this. <laughs> That's really upsetting. Maggie. But then again, her life is ruined. Like, what do well, you do after you're Jenna the dog girl? On I don't know. Only Jenna fans? the dog lady. Yeah, like Jenna the your dog. life is only. You need uh -huh. to investigate that. Is that a purebred? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some more of uh, Christina's famous talks. Here we go. <laughs> Come on. Here are some of my favorite white people phrases. Give it to us. First up, we have, <laughs> you're on thin ice, buddy. <laughs> Next, we have, <laughs> get a load of this guy. <laughs> Followed by, for crying out loud. <laughs> and of course, we can't forget, you're darn tootin'. And of course, ah, oh, brother. And finally, all right, who's ready to rock and roll? <laughs> that's good. That, yeah. That's true. That is true. That's I've been a, caught doing that. That's a real cracker phrase. Yeah. Is he is he dressed Amish on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> he just does his videos very early in the morning. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. He bad shaver. Now, last week, oh. oh. No. Hi, I'm Angie. Um, so I'm here on TikTok. I'm a little nervous, no which doubt. is ironic, but whatever. So I join you guys because, well, I am a 24-7, 365 days a year BDSM slave. Yes, you heard me correct. And yes, I know you legally can't do that. <laughs> People in the BDSM lifestyle, we have to hide. Um, I've pretty much been ousted from the fam for what I'm doing, and that's okay. That's okay, you know, give them time, right? <laughs> but being proud of what we are and who we are be is proud. really important. I got through the barrier of announcing I was bisexual. I'll get through the barrier of announcing I practice BDSM. I also live it as my life, though. Hmm. And if you guys want to find anything out, just ask. But I have a hood to put on. Night. She should keep the hood on. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh. Probably a lot more people checking that video out if she had the hood. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like a lot of um, athletic trainers and mm -hmm. uh, people that work in the athletic department <laughs> in uh, some of the bigger high schools and some of the yeah. Division three colleges. Yeah. You know? l l let's be honest. You didn't really have to come out of the closet. <laughs> 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 but I love the Huey Lewis in the news haircut. <laughs> it's a really nice hair. That's so true. She's right? like, I came out as bisexual. Mm. We're like, and mm. everybody's like, bisexual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just keep going, Samantha. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, that is a mask okay, and so, a half. Uh, oh, my what? day starts right here. I uh, crawl out. My do day my starts rituals, here. And I have my routines every day and my schedule that was approved by my owner. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. By the way, so let me it. just say this. <laughs> if, if you're related to her, devastating to watch this. You're like, it is so sad yeah. what has happened to Erica. <laughs> like, this is not at all what you want for somebody you care about. Like I crawled out of my cage and I have my, or, I, have to molest, I lick my pits to keep them clean. And then my slave master says, uh, go forward. Or she's amounted to more. 
right? Right? Like yeah. she might have been that one, like, oh, she's not, she's never gonna move out of the house. Well, she hasn't. So, oh, she still out, lives with her parents. No, no, oh, fuck no, no. She hasn't amounted to like she has a part time gig, like transcribing Starbucks. Thing. Yeah, like she just works out of her house because she's not allowed to leave it. I've been, I did a deep dive. Uh, Wormhole. That's yeah, so bad. Fuck. Oh my yeah. god. Uh, yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't I don't I don't know I never understand people's compulsion to be out with it like do you you re, you had a burning desire to let the world know that you're a slave and it's you must be acknowledged for it you know is, it's, yeah. is she it's trying so to get out weird. is she trying to get out do you think it's a, like a little subliminal cry right. for help I don't know I'm if not, you see me what's the yeah. help me <laughs> That's why she took the mask off because nobody would recognize her without the mask. <laughs> yeah. Oof. God. Oh, my good oh boy. Okay. Here we go. Here's another one. You're, you're still in, right? You're not even tapped out yet? You're still good? Yeah, you got yeah. to do what you get to do, okay. bro. <laughs> Thank you to my friend on TikTok <laughs> telling me to read the big letters. I didn't pay attention to the big letters. I was just looking at the other one. They are wrong what they said. Oh, fuck. I was wow. born in September, you fat. I'm not saying the other word. Oh, <laughs> it's funny. Always dancing. They are wrong what Trust. they did. Oh my God. I'm I, I'm not reading the other ones that you're fat. I'm not and I'm not saying what the other word is. Okay. All right then. This one so made wait, me laugh what, so hard. What happened? Somebody gave her so this. So she's in she's put her address out. Yeah. Right? They so what they do on the talk a lot of these people. <laughs> They're like, my fans sent me this. My fans sent me that. So her fans. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Send her this shirt. It's <laughs> fat retard. <laughs> and then they put like it. Retarded. <laughs> uh, I oh, love it. Oh, God. I and love that she's making also, money off it. And she was like, I got a shirt from a fan. That's right. That's right. I got a shirt. <laughs> Somebody went out of the way and be like, I got you a gift. <laughs> Do you think she's worn it out? She probably forgot what it said. <laughs> but she, she, she wore it out first, and then that's when they told her, you might not want to wear that. Yeah, yeah for sure. By the way, put your Wait. pink hat on. I'm, but it's my birthday month. <laughs> it says, I'm born in September. I'm born in September, um, which means I'm... <laughs> funny. Always dancing. Ready to party. Right. Excellent. Talkative. And this is, uh, I'm assuming this is the first one, <sighs> right? Yeah, that's I think it it's is. her. So it's her. Yeah. I feel okay. I guess I had a problem with my ass, her wearing that shirt is pretty funny. But but qu- she but she isn't right. She's no. just she's just normal, right? She's just normal. Yeah, but I mean, if you saw that lady, shirt, <laughs> yeah. you'd probably puke laughing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, you probably puke laughing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'd be like, hey, what is that lady's shirt? Uh, and then you just overhear her being like, like, okay. <laughs> She be- <laughs> but you know what I love is that someone made the F is for fabulous. Yeah, like, yeah. That's, like a, that's not a shirt. Did you just so, find in every print no, shop? No, no, <laughs> no. And somebody, she goes, she goes. Somebody said to see the big letter. So somebody obviously saw her. Was like, yeah. nice shirt. She's like, thanks. One of my fans gave it to me. And they're like, have they're you, not your fans. Have you read the big letters? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wish we could do a version of that shirt. Oh, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, ladies. It's six o'clock in the morning. It's time to go to work. Get up and let them boobs hang. Come on, make some videos right when you get out of bed before you put that bra on. You have a wonderful day, girls. Okay. Do oh. some people think this is a dating? I, th- I think so. Do they yeah. like like they get confused? Hey, yeah. baby. Yeah. 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 I mean, he's hot. It's a. <laughs> It is appealing that if you're if you're a follower of his, you're like, oh, I didn't see uh, Kevin's post, but I was, I'm going to make some boob videos now. Right, and I you can send him the last oh. T-shirt too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just thought he was a cool guy, and I Did thought you? you'd appreciate the cool guy. He's very cool. He's very cool. And I sent him a video. To live until they can hopefully someday go back to their homes. This is oh. boring. We're boring. <laughs> Tell some jokes. This is something. <laughs> 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 I thought that was good old fashioned shenanigans. That's, 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 that's awesome. a good idea. Those are good yeah. shenanigans. Yeah. <laughs> this it's is boring. boring. Yeah, to <laughs> do to do that to any politician's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. You know, particularly if it were a real somber. Also speech. comedians. 
<laughs> yeah. 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 Boring. Yeah. yeah. This is boring. <laughs> We've all had that too. Oh, yeah. Somebody's always you know, boring. Uh, <laughs> and then you're like, ah, blah, blah, blah. What, actually, I remember vividly at Cleveland Improv, one of the first times yeah. I played there during a show, <laughs> a dude in like the second row, he was sleeping. And then, <laughs> then he um, audibly, like during a setup, I was like, blah, blah, blah. he goes, uh, he goes, damn, this dude's put me to sleep. Like that, so that <laughs> everybody can hear. That's cool. Oh, that's cool, man. Uh, that's good. Uh, dude. Boring. Okay, lady, oh. you want to call Child Protective Service on us? Please do so, because this Detective? is my younger daughter. Yeah. This is going to be her husband. Oh, my God, let me tell you. There's a different age here. She's 18. He's 24. Oh, my fucking God. And this is her dad. Oh, my God, he's black. Oh my God, this is her gonna be husband. He's a Mexican! And we're a gringa. And she's Mexican, half white. And this is her dad by law. We got because it. Because it's, he adopted her. So if you don't like it, fuck you. Call CPS. We don't give a fuck. Okay. We're gonna need four more of those shirts. <laughs> 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 oh shit, Ian! <laughs> yeah, see, it's a good idea to make those and mail them. To um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How did this start? Because we're child detective <laughs> services, detective child. Detective. You call child detective service? Because this is my daughter. Okay, lady, you want to call child detective service? Detective. Detective. <laughs> detective. So. You want to call child detective service on me? Huh? <laughs> Why is she making fun of Asian people? Oh. Child detective. Oh, oh God! Child detective. Detective. <laughs> yeah. This is my daughter. This is her son. She got to go married. Oh, my dad. God. Oh God. She also like had to keep going back. She was like, and then I, like I said, that's her, that's gonna be her future husband. How about the how weird part with his tongue? Just like I'm gonna lick that pussy. <laughs> well, the tongue thing is so big right now to talk. They're, everyone's sticking oh, really? their tongue in. Like this, these kids love to stick their tongues. We're gonna out. need more of those shirts. <laughs> There you go. There's that time. Yeah, there it is. There's the time. Yeah. Everyone Which loves the time. Those kids with those shirts that love to have their tongue. <laughs> <Okay. on. laughs> that's very that's very those kids with those shirts. You yeah. know <laughs> I'm not saying, but I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> horrible hey guys, word, horrible. It's me again. Oh, oh no. Um as you know I sell workouts. So there's no um, <laughs> miscommunication. I'm not a certified trainer, but I do like helping people lose weight and learn how to do it with what I've tried and different exercises I've okay. done. I'm here to help. So you can buy one for 15 bucks. Cash at me 15 bucks. Email me at ryanpeterson.com. This is quite a lane to be and in. And all of that jazz to um, get your workouts. You get three. Get your workouts. And... Um, Sorry, I'm not a certified trainer. <laughs> I just want to help people. God bless and peace out. Okay. Right. I want to see the workout. I, uh, we got to get one of those workouts. We got to get that we one. We got to get one of those oh, workouts. Oh, we, are we going to do it? Yeah, of Nadal, course. I want to see what the workout it. is. Autistic workout. <laughs> oh, my God. Everybody far, far away from each other. No touching. <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, I know he's, uh, but he's not so. He's on to something. Yeah. He's on to something. If he can get, <laughs> if he can get somebody to work with him, yeah, that's certified. Uh, cert certified autistic weight loss. Yeah, I mean, this is. All, but also, I love the business model of like, I am not someone you should reach out to about this. Yeah, <laughs> but if you want to send me fifteen bucks. Yeah, I'll send you a version of what I think you should do. Oh, you know, God. like, I, like it's and like, chances are he has no legs either. Just, 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 <laughs> well, I only work the co I only work the upper body. <laughs> well, the irony is too. I don't know if you've ever researched trainers online. They generally don't lie down to do their videos or their advertising. Like uh, yeah. usually it's like trainers. A, a no, trainers usually sleep during their videos. They're <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not working out. You're yeah. working out. You work out. Yeah. He's like, I got this down. Yeah. I'm going to coach you. You need to get moving. I'm just oh, laying here. Shit. Um, big, big, he looks like Bigfoot, too. <laughs> you remember uh, this guy? Because there's another. Fat there's another. This isn't in your talks. <laughs> Jesus. This isn't in your talks. But 
you remember the legendary okay i've been on here i've been polite i've been kind i've been honest and sincere <laughs> now i like to have some tea right on my lips <laughs> i would like to have some titties around my face <laughs> i would like to have some sex okay okay <laughs> why are we whispering <laughs> i don't know because rachel maddow's like on my wife's on the other side of the room she wants to look like I can make a love to you. <laughs> Not like one of these young men or these oh. little boys. They get themselves off and then, oops, they don't care about their partner. You know, yeah. Oh, I'll make you come. <laughs> I'll make you come. I, last lady, 10, 15 times. 15 times. Before I even went boom once. Okay. okay. I so, got a crooked nose and make you come so hard. <laughs> <laughs> you sit on this nose. I would um, still do the sissy of Fremont over the Really? This guy's got new videos out. You want to see some? <laughs> Hi out there. I'm not wanting to fall in love. Really. Turn if your TV happens, up. It happens. If it don't, it don't. <laughs> I just want to have sex. Oh, cool. We Make get love it. to a woman. We got it. Okay. I mean, the way to do it <laughs> is to post videos of you doing this. That's the best way to, re to get your well, goal. Well, the first time wasn't enough. He needs to reiterate mm -hmm. the message over and over and yep. over. We get it, dude. You're mm -hmm. horny. You want Big, little, fuck? short, tall. Doesn't matter. Eyes don't matter. I'm going to fuck you. The, eyes, the skin <laughs> don't matter. The race don't matter. There you go. I do not discriminate. <laughs> we got you. And I make love. I don't F little boys and teenagers. They F. You might want I wanna, make love. You might want to show I where like the period is on that one, sir. If the lady's clean. Not for what she can do for me, but what I can do for her. Okay. He's, I like tasting that creamy feeling. Jesus. Oh. But anyway, talk Ugh. at you later. God bless. Bye-bye. That was the grossest thing I've ever heard. I've actually never seen. heard somebody say that. Has he got his teeth upside down? Um, he puts them in different. Sometimes he does videos without them, which oh. is most alarming. Oh, that. But, yeah. I like tasting that creamy feeling. Oh, stop. Damn that creamy feeling. I don't want to hear that. Give me someone to have to do it. I remember back in my single days, that was usually my opening line. I would walk up to a lady and say, I would love to taste some of that creamy filling. I make Jeez. love. I don't F. I don't F. F. Little boys, huh? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is so. <laughs> I, 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 I was like, to, put the period yeah. in there, comma. <laughs> you definitely want to throw a strong period right at the top. Then uh, <laughs> you do not want to. You do not want to have my Twitter gra grammar in there. <laughs> Hello. Ah, oh, back again. How you doing? Have, hope you're having a happy Fourth of July. TV louder, louder. You know, I got thinking about that Kevin Costner movie, Field of Dreams. Uh -huh. If you build it. He will come. Uh oh. Well, you know, one of these sexy little ladies would come over here to the house. Yeah. I'd probably come. Nice. Oh, good smile. Dude, at the these end. are getting better. Yeah, that is a good smile to end that on. By the way, it's very appealing. Yeah. Isn't this kind of like uh, that uh, quote, doing the same thing over and over again? Definition yeah. of madness. Yeah, yeah. he might want to try a different way to get into the house. Well, that, yeah, I was wondering too. Like, this obviously isn't working. Mm -hmm. um, uh, speak for yourself. Go ahead. <laughs> I wonder. Yeah, why not a different approach? Yeah. I, I agree. He keeps yeah. doing it, and it's like it's not. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I can't imagine the things that this guy is putting out there. Like, I can't right. imagine a woman thinking this is okay. Sorry about that. Never mind. Anyway, have a good four. Talk at you later. Just like my dog, I'm afraid of fireworks, so I turn up my TV. <laughs> and then finally, uh, uh, finally a video where a different message. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know. All these women keep on breaking my heart and doing me wrong. Very loud from TV. Me, <laughs> stealing from me. I mean, it means the same thing. Stealing from uh, me. Maybe I should turn gay. That's a good idea because guys respond better to this tactic. Somebody with the big old giant pecker, <laughs> somebody with the pecker my size, and just big old giant pecker. go down on them. Not. Oh, not. He got us. <laughs> he got us. Okay. Oh, that ain't gonna happen. I'm straight. I'm straight America. Oh, there's fake boobs and stuff on here. You know, a person like me ain't gonna get one of these hot, sexy women. You know. Mm -hmm. Ain't no way. By the way, thanks for all the thoughts and prayers about my mom. Okay. <laughs> really good. Do you think that's who's watching TV? <laughs> that's a good question. Right, he loves yeah. his mom. Maybe that's why he can't get yeah. Nookie.
Is that oh, wow. is that a trophy oh. behind him? It's an Indian, I think. Uh, I Native think the American. term is First Nations or Native First American. Nations, right? Jesus Ian? Christ! What do you Canadians call uh, them? First I call Nation? them casino owners. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I call them lovely people, uh, but it seems like it's a trophy, doesn't it? Like, why is there? Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of whys whenever we watch any of these. God. Um, these are fantastic. So look, I want to. <laughs> I want to do around the bag. Okay. Me too. Um, Can I do around okay. the bag? Yes, absolutely. I want to. Uh, absolutely, I would love to have you guys. Around everybody, if you haven't already, purchase and or stream. Everybody wants some, which is out now. You can get it anywhere. Uh, music and comedy is available. You know, Amazon, iTunes, everywhere. And you should also check out Conversations, which is on Amazon Prime. Oh my God, I'm fantastic. And, yeah, and go should... see them live when you can. When, oh, my when God. When the world comes back. That's where it's really at. Tuesday night, I've started something starting tonight on the 15th. I don't know if I'm doing this Perfect. right. Perfect. But uh, D Piazza Pizza in Long Beach has an outdoor area. And 60 people can come watch comedy spread out. Tonight, it's going to be me and Alfred Robles and Ahmed Ahmed. Um, we're going to be doing Tuesday nights. So if you want every Tuesday, you're gonna do it? every Tuesday night, but you have to have a reservation. Uh, it's it's you know everybody spar. It's outside. Yep, it's awesome. Total, yeah, so just small right. small group. If you want to come that's, come do that, that'd be fun. You that'd know, be fun. Sneak out and do some stand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell the people to fuck it. I'd love to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to do it. I love you too. Love you're you my too. favorites. Thanks. It's been man. way too long. It's been too long. And we my should, wife says hi. Yes, yeah, we should all we should get together. You know, absolutely. Uh, and I can't believe how many people listen to you guys. It's it's crazy. Yeah. Like, everybody's always telling me to get on your show, and I'm like, I've yeah. actually been on. If you'd listen to the episode, the yeah, backup. So, yeah. That's a uh, that's been too long though. It's a long time ago. Who cares? I well, say. we went. If they can't listen to the beginning. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. and but we now, actually went a long time without guests too. Yeah, did you guys? We, we did we two, years guests, two years with no guests. Two years with no guests. How did you do that? Mm-hmm. We just we did out of our house. We just did out of our house. Oh, and you didn't want anybody coming over. Yeah, and we also wanted to like try to build an audience that wasn't guest contingent because we thought we saw that. A lot of shows were like, well, I don't have a guest, I don't have a show this week. Right. So we tried to like... Around the bag. Yeah, around the bag. There it's, you go. Yeah. But I, you can do it from your own home. That's the great part yeah. about around it. Everybody does it. Yeah. You guys are talented. And I, I love, love you. seeing you. You're all over the place and stand up and just, you know. Thanks, man. I'm we glad that you, people yeah. keep you grounded by opening bars in the showroom. Yeah, that's very grounding. Mm-hmm. Very mm, talk. Just do it um, one time for me. Mm, baby talk. Mm, baby talk. <laughs> and uh, look out! Look out in the mail. I got a T-shirt coming to you because uh, I know you're September, baby. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, uh, November. Keep your eyes, <laughs> keep your I, eyes open. It's I coming. Wear, wear it just to see how people respond. <laughs> you judging me? And then someone says something. You're like, "It's my birthday, though. <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> birthday. My fans sent me this." <laughs> <laughs> All right, our closing song is Ballsack Music by Lovesick. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Bye, guys. Bye, mommy. Hello, I am Miles Pardo, and I'm going to teach you how to slap your balls up against your leg. Like this. There you go. First step is Slap balls. There you go. Kind of like this. So from the side, this is what I'm doing. That's pretty much it.
Yes, just about it. Um, so just practice that. Hi, Mommy. Thanks, Jeans. Thank you for watching this episode of Your Mom's House. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, here, here so that you will know when a Your Mom's House video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jeans.